Chapter 3061 Try and look again? The ancient city stood tall and mighty. The city gates which stood as tall as the clouds were packed with people coming and going. They were like ants moving through the streets. Also, an ancient aura exuded from this city. The celestial horse stopped far away from the city. After that, Long Chen and the others walked off, and countless gazes instantly turned toward them. These were all youngsters in the divine flame realm. Their gazes were full of provocation. They observed Long Chen and the others wantonly, as if looking for their weaknesses. These disciples were all competitors because the spectators were not yet welcome. They weren't even qualified to enter the city. These gazes were full of hostility when they looked at Long Chen and the others. It was only when they saw Bei Shishi that they had their breath taken away. Many of them waved in greeting toward her, but she ignored them. It wasn't just Bei Shishi who wasn't accepting any greetings. When young master Chang Chuan came out, countless young maidens cried out adoringly. The ruckus was even a bit bigger than what Bei Shishi caused. However, young master Chang Chuan seemed to be used to it and also ignored them. However, he didn't just draw over the adoring gazes of women but also the envious gazes of men. In the distance, some of those men were pointing at him, seeming to be provoking him. This was Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan's first time seeing such a vast spectacle. They were both moved and nervous. All of these people had powerful auras, like mountains and seas. They were all top experts. Here, they felt themselves to be far too weak. Mu Qingyan was the most nervous of them all. She held Long Chen's arm, as if only he could give her a sense of safety. I said that your sword was sheathed to say that you have a sword. What are you afraid of? These are nothing more than some chicken with strong appearances. If you were to start fighting, you'd sweep through them with a single slash, said Long Chen. Her hand was covered in sweat. If he wasn't aware that she had never seen such a sight, he would have laughed. Really Mu Qingyan didn't dare to believe it. You're lacking combat experience and are being misled by their outside appearances. That is a grave taboo of a sword cultivator. You should know that sword cultivators have the strongest intuition. It was right to bring you here. You need more combat experience to raise your confidence, said Long Chen. Even though Mu Qingyan had set foot into the realm of sword cultivators, she still gave off the feeling of a dabbler. Perhaps it was because Long Chen was lacking as an instructor, or perhaps she wasn't that strongly attached to the sword Dao. Although to have reached this level from an ordinary disciple, it could already be said that she had soared like a shooting star, but Long Chen still felt that she was far too lacking compared to Yu Zifeng. Long Chen then looked around and found that there were millions of disciples here. This was an incredible number. He supposed that this was expected of the nine prefectures' largest gathering. There were countless heavenly geniuses. The young disciples were just like Long Chen and were led by some senior experts. They lined up and registered here. Haha, <laughs> the Martial Heaven Prefectures Rank 1 High Firmament Academy only brought this few people? Have they simply given up? Just as they were appraising their surroundings, a group of people walked over to them. These people were all large with astonishing blood chi. It was possible to vaguely sense a hidden explosive power within them. They're starting already. Long Chen was surprised. Bei Shishi's mother had told them that the High Firmament Academy had suffered from other people crowding them out at the Nine Prefecture Convention. They had just arrived, but people already came to provoke them. There were over 70 people in this group. Their leader was a thin elder with a walking cane which head was a carved tiger head roaring at the heavens. The elder's eyes were different from a normal person's. They were like a beast's, fierce and sharp, containing a bloodthirsty wildness. Bei Shishi's mother looked at the elder and spat out a single word. Scram. It was simple, direct, crude, and domineering. The elder smiled sinisterly. His gaze then swept across Long Chen and the others before falling on young master Chang Chuan. So you have a primal? and he comes from a life-forbidden area. Has the High Firmament Academy fallen to the point that it requires outsiders to help win them glory? The disciples behind him sneered as he said this, their eyes seemingly mocking them Novaloon.com old thing. You fart a lot. Are you trying to be my enemy? Asked young master Chang Chuan coldly. No, no one would dare to provoke a life-forbidden area. I'm only targeting the High Firmament Academy, not you, said the elder. 
He actually dared to provoke the High Firmament Academy but not Young Master Changchun. Young Master Changchun snorted and didn't say anything further. The elder continued to walk in front of Bei Shishi and nodded. Not bad. Your bloodline is pure and the fluctuations are strong. Although you haven't awakened a primal bloodline, it shouldn't be that far away for you. Girl, why don't you come to our Dark Tiger Alliance to grow? Scram. Just like her mother. Bei Shishi spat out a single word, not even bothering to waste more words on this dislikable fellow. The elder still didn't get angry. He smiled, very pleased. When he came to Long Chen, he eyed him up and down, just as he was about to speak. Pow! Long Chen suddenly slapped him in the face. What are you looking at? Long Chen was as quick as lightning, striking without any warning, considering their distance. Even if the elder's cultivation base was amazing, he didn't have time to react. This was a resounding slap that was as loud as thunder. However, Long Chen's hand hurt from the impact. The elder's face was incredibly hard. It was like he had slapped metal. As a result, the elder flipped through the air a few times. Teeth and blood flew through the air. The disturbance caused everyone to jump. The bustling crowd fell silent as everyone turned to stare in astonishment. You didn't investigate who Boss Long San was before daring to look at him? Let's see if Boss Long San can beat your yokes out. Long Chen pointed and cursed at the elder, bending his arm as if he was preparing to strike him again. As he said this, he cast a look at Bei Ziaol and the others. But Bei Ziaol's head wasn't too agile, so he didn't understand what he meant. It was Luo Bing who was smart. So she, Luo Ning, and Mu King Ian hastily held him back. Long Chen acted as if he was struggling to break free. He then cursed the elder once more. Stop holding me back. In all my years, I've never suffered such a grievance. Old fellow, try to take another look and see what happens. Chapter 3062 Violently beating the Alliance head everyone was dumbfounded. Just who was this youngster? Was he really so amazing? The one leading each group was a member of the senior generation. Their cultivation bases were at least above the Divine Lord realm. However, this youngster dared to strike such a terrifying expert. Even Bei Shishi hadn't expected Long Chen to be so brazen as to attack such an existence. As for Bei Shishi's mother, looking at Long Chen's incredibly exaggerated aggrieved expression, she didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Before leaving, the dean had personally told her to look after Long Chen and not let him be too arrogant as that wasn't in accordance with the academy's style. However, before she could even say something, Long Chen had done something like this. Moreover, the person he had slapped was not some random elder but precisely the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance. That alliance head was sent flying back as Long Chen didn't hold back with this slap. As he spun through the air, stars also spun in his eyes. He couldn't tell east from west, north from south. Brat, you're courting death. When he finally recovered, the Alliance head stretched his claw forward. Senior, it wasn't me. It just so happened that there was a black-robed man standing in front of him. And seeing the Alliance head attack him, the man screamed in terror, almost pissing himself. That Alliance head was startled. He was facing the wrong direction and was still too befuddled to even recognize the right person. Everyone watching almost laughed, seeing that he had targeted the wrong person and seeing everyone's strange gazes, the alliance head grew even more infuriated. He turned to see Long Chen looking as if he wanted to fight him, and his eyes instantly turned scarlet. However, just as he was about to attack, Bei Shishi's mother stepped between them, coldly saying, You should know who I am, and you should know my temper. I don't want to waste extra words. If you dare to touch my academy's disciples, you won't see tomorrow's sun. Bei Shishi's mother stood there, her gaze flat, but her words shocked countless people. Just who was this person? She was so domineering that she actually dared to say that she would kill this alliance head. The alliance head was so infuriated that flames almost burst out of him. As for the disciples behind him, they had taken out their weapons. Both of you can stop before you go too far. This place is the Donghua Prefecture Silver Moon City, not your own territory. If anyone in the Divine Lord realm and above starts fighting here, it will implicate the disciples. Your disciples then will lose their right to participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention. 
A voice drifted over from inside the city. The disturbance had also drawn their attention. Upon hearing it, the Alliance head's anger turned into a simmering rage. As for Long Chen, his gaze suddenly flickered. Bypassing Bei Shishi's mother, he once more slapped the Alliance head just as he calmed down. Who said you could not wear a hat? Pow! The Dark Tiger Alliance's Alliance head had suppressed his fury due to the warning, and not expecting an attack. He was slapped through the air by Long Chen once more. Previously, everyone had only heard the sound of Long Chen's slap. This time, they personally witnessed it. Everyone let out a startled cry. The Alliance head was slapped around like a dog. Also, Long Chen's movements were natural and graceful. They didn't seem all too fast. So why was he still able to land his blows? Long Chen, even Bei Shishi's mother hadn't expected Long Chen to do such a thing. Just what was he thinking? The most ridiculous part was that this seemingly ordinary slap couldn't be avoided. Intolerable the Alliance head roared, a terrifying pressure rising out of him. Seeing this, everyone around him hastily fled in fear. He seemed to have gone mad. Who let you randomly shout? As everyone else retreated, Long Chen advanced. Another slap landed on the Alliance head's face. But this time, although it landed, the one sent flying was Long Chen. Long Chen's palm was bleeding. The Alliance head had unleashed his cultivation base and summoned a protective layer of divine light. Most of Long Chen's power was reflected by it. A divine lord expert was truly terrifying. However, Long Chen's slap also wasn't something that an ordinary person could endure. The Alliance head's roar was interrupted midway, leaving people dumbfounded. That senior said that no divine lord experts can attack. If you attack me, the Dark Tiger Alliance's disciples will lose their qualifications to participate in the convention. Let me ask you, if I keep hitting you, do you even dare to attack back? Just to be sure though, Long Chen hid behind Bei Shishi's mother. That evil chortle was the very picture of him daring someone to come beat him. You. Pfft. The Alliance had suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, not from being injured, but from anger. A bout of dizziness made him sway. If it weren't for the disciples behind him helping him, he might have collapsed. The great master of the Dark Tiger Alliance, an almighty divine lord expert, someone who could turn mountains and empty seas with a wave of his hand, had actually been angered to this extent. What a pitiful sight. Brat, you're making trouble. Although there is no express rule preventing divine flame realm disciples from attacking divine lord experts. If you don't reserve yourself, I can still cancel your qualifications due to disturbing the peace. The elder's voice from within the castle rang out once more. The Nine Prefecture Convention had its own rules, but those rules expressly forbade disciples from fighting, the senior elders leading the groups from fighting, and then those leaders attacking the disciples. There was no rule for disciples attacking divine lord experts. Throughout the convention's history, no such disciple had dared to do such a thing. But today, Long Chen had set the precedent. Since it was the precedent, that person could only give a warning and no actual punishment. Is that so? I understand. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists. He, in other words, things would end here. He had gotten three free slaps. That blessed smile of his was truly deserving of a slap. Even the cold Beisha she couldn't help laughing. So there was such a marvel in this world. You attacked first. Apologize to the other side, said the elder's voice from the city. Apologize. Long Chen's gaze turned cold for a moment, but he then smiled. Walking over to the Dark Tiger Alliance's leader, Long Chen patted him on the shoulder. Brother, my apologies. But you can't blame me. Who told you to have such a slutty mouth that's constantly spouting crap? That's why you should take this lesson earnestly and properly brush your teeth. Wash your heart and renew your face. Become a new person. After all, you're still young. You have a long road ahead of you. Every loss you suffer is actually gaining wisdom. And that's good for you. But you don't need to thank me. After all, this is the tireless, sacred mission of an instructor. The Alliance head's blood was roiling inside of him. Finally. Long Chen's apology caused that blood to rush to his head. He then coughed up a mouthful of blood and fainted. Chapter 3063 What is called arrogance The surrounding people stared at Long Chen in stunned silence. Just where did this person come from to be so brazen? 
He dared to slap the face of a divine lord expert and even made him faint from anger. Report your name. Get on stage. I challenge you to a battle to the death. One of the disciples of the Dark Tiger Alliance roared. Divine light suddenly erupting from his body. After that, a tiger roar came from within that light. It's actually an awakened primal. Long Chen indifferently smiled. He swaggered over to him and turned his head back, looking down on him. All of you, stand steady. My surname is Long, and my given name is Chen. Everyone in my home calls me Boss Long San. I am from the High Firmament Academy. I don't mind telling you that Boss Long San came here to become famous. Anyone who doesn't like it, step onto the martial stage. Boss Long San will accept any challenge. Long Chen had completely changed from his previous Loki act. Luo Bing and the others were all befuddled. Was this really the Long Chen that they knew? Brat, you're crazy. Too arrogant take care to not ruin yourself in the search for fame. When the heavens are wild, it rains. When a person is wild, calamity descends. Take care to not die here. Even before the Dark Tiger Alliance's people spoke, the people in the crowd began to curse Long Chen. If it weren't for the rules, they would probably have attacked. After all, these people were all outstanding heavenly geniuses in their own right, who didn't have a bit of arrogance. None of them viewed themselves as inferior, so Long Chen had essentially challenged all of them. You think that just this is arrogance? What frogs at the bottom of a well? Don't be anxious. Boss Long San will soon show you what true arrogance is, said Long Chen, his gaze sweeping over the crowd disdainfully. Long Chen had originally just been acting arrogant on purpose, but now he found that acting this way was truly refreshing. Toward the end, it wasn't even an act. At this time, he found that he simply wasn't someone who could be Loki. Seeing their gazes full of rage, yet being unable to do anything, he felt incredibly comfortable inside. Fuck, I was stuck watching other people act arrogant all this time. It's finally my turn. Long Chen was refreshed inside. Boss is mighty and domineering seeing Long Chen looking so unrivaled even amongst all these heavenly geniuses. Bei Ziaol cried out worshipfully. Loki. Loki he. Ha ha ha. Even as he muttered about being Loki, that pleased expression of his made people want to throttle him. Bei Shishi's mother was speechless. They had just arrived at Silver Moon City, and things had gone out of control. Long Chen had managed to draw hate from everyone. What was going on with this child? He was normally so smart, but now he became an idiot. These experts glared at Long Chen and replied with various provoking gestures and expressions. However, Long Chen continued to simply look down on them, driving them crazy. Luo Bing and the others didn't know whether to laugh or cry. They felt that this Long Chen was quite unusual. Luo Ning couldn't help asking him why he was acting so arrogant. Long Chen's reply was, My creed in life is to never bully the weak. I have to bully the strong. And just look, there are so many strong people around. If I don't bully them now, what will I have learned all these abilities for? Luo Bing and the others were speechless. But thinking back, Long Chen had never put on airs with them. Nor would he suppress the weak to make his own status appear grander. However, here he seemed to go out of control. It was as if he wanted to challenge all the nine prefectures heavenly geniuses on his own. It was as if he felt that this world couldn't contain him. Countless sharp gazes pierced him. If looks could kill, he would have long since been turned to dust. However, Long Chen ignored them. In line, he took out a crystal cup and poured some wine for himself. Drinking as he waited, his gaze continued to roam, as if everything here was his territory. It was almost like he was marking his territory. Bei Ziaol immediately started learning from him taking out his own cup of wine and swaggering behind Long Chen. It really was a good imitation. The two of them were like two ducks waddling through the crowd. That appearance made even the icy Bei Shishi sneak a laugh, while Luo Ning was already crying from laughter. However, while they laughed, the others were glaring at Long Chen. Veins throbbed on their foreheads. This child, Bei Shishi's mother didn't know what Long Chen was doing, but with her understanding of Long Chen, she knew that he had his own goal. It was just that Bei Ziaol was now foolishly following him. That happy expression of his made Bei Shishi's mother unable to hold back a smile. Her smile also contained some gratification. Due to his innate issue, 
In order for his bloodline to not be crippled, Base Hantang had used violent means to clear his channels and help him advance. Base Iol had spent so many years growing up under the fear of violence. Just as Long Chen said, he was very rebellious and felt inferior due to this. It could already be considered a heart devil. However, the current Bei Ziyol didn't seem that way at all. It had only been a few months since he had activated his three flower pupils. In just this short time, Long Chen had dragged him out of his heart devil, and his bloodline was quickly awakening. Long Chen was truly capable of miracles. Brother San, stop swaggering. You're making me dizzy, said Mu Qingyan with a bitter smile. The two of them showed no signs of stopping even after a long time. It's fine. If you're dizzy, then they'll be even dizzier. For millions of people to accompany you, we're clearly profiting. To tell the truth, I'm getting dizzy and tired too. But seeing their expressions, everything is worth it, whispered Long Chen. He continued swaggering around. Luo Bing and the others laughed. Seeing the furious gazes from everyone. Seeing those gazes follow Long Chen wherever he went, they started to feel it was even funnier. Due to the number of people here, it was taking quite a bit of time to enter the city. Everyone had to show their status plates before they were allowed in. After half a day, when they were under 10 miles from the city gates, a pack of people had lined up behind them. The scene was even more chaotic and bustling than before. However, at this time, a path suddenly opened amongst the crowd. A group of people walked through arrogantly, entering the city without lining up. What is going on? Luo Bing and the others were startled. Just what kind of people were given such privilege? Chapter 3064 Privilege According to the Nine Prefecture Convention's Customs, if a disciple reaches the top eight, then during the next convention, the sects that they're from don't need to line up and register. They can directly enter Silver Moon City, said Bei Shishi's mother. Clearly. These people were from a sect that had gotten into the top eight during the last nine prefecture convention. Silver Moon City, asked Long Chen. Yes, Silver Moon City, you're not hearing wrong, but this is the true Silver Moon City. As for the disciples of the Silver Moon City that you encountered in the Jilin Immortal Land, they are simply named after this place, said Bei Shishi's mother. Are the two connected? Yes, but not very closely. The Martial Heaven Prefecture Silver Moon City is nothing more than a branch of this place. They can be considered a subordinate. They pay tribute to the Donghua Prefecture Silver Moon City every year, but the real Silver Moon City doesn't really care about them. To put it frankly, they are simply using the name of Silver Moon City. There are actually many forces like them with this name, but anyone who uses this name must pay tribute to the real Silver Moon City. As for why Silver Moon City would permit others to use their name, no one knows. But at the very least, they are making a large sum every year from the tributes, said Bei Shishi's mother. For a pack of dogs to be randomly running amok, there's no way that they don't have the tacit acceptance of their master. It seems that this Silver Moon City also won't treat us well. Long Chen curled his lips. That is natural. That's why I told you that it's impossible for us to take first place. To put simply, the Nine Prefecture Convention is composed of all the large powers within the Nine Prefectures paying to hold a grand gathering. All these resources are piled up by the powers of the Nine Prefectures, and then whoever has the ability gets to take them. Luo Bing couldn't help interjecting. Then doesn't that mean that many sects are simply paying money every time without getting anything? Correct. There are millions of sects, all famous and powerful within the Nine Prefectures. But only the geniuses who get into the top hundred can get rewards. Your odds of victory are as low as possible. Powers that can enter the top hundred all have incomparably profound foundations. So they get the rewards almost every time. As for the rest, they can only clench their teeth. There is no other option. If they don't participate, their reputation will crumble. And they will fall to second-rate sects and have difficulty recruiting any disciples. They would sooner or later decline. Thus, most sects came for face and fame. Second-rate sects aren't even qualified to be invited to attend. If you do get invited, then even if you have no money, you would have to come up with it somehow, said Bei Shishi's mother. When she explained it like this, 
everyone came to understand that this was all an exercise for poor people to look like rich people. It was quite the con. Isn't it very risky to trust so much money to the Nine Prefecture Convention to safeguard? What if they simply pocket it? Asked Long Chen. That's not a worry. All the wealth involved is entrusted to the Huaian Trading Company. The Huaian Trading Company is the most trusted commerce business in the entire immortal world, said Bei Shishi's mother. The Huaian Trading Company. Long Chen was shocked. The creator of the Huaian Trading Company was the wealth god. An extremely mysterious existence. No one knew his true identity. The Martial Heaven Continent's Huaian sect was composed of his followers, and Long Chen had always been thinking about how to find the Huaian Trading Company. He wanted to find Zheng Wenlong's whereabouts. However, he hadn't expected the wealth of this Nine Prefecture Convention to be managed by the Huaian Trading Company. When the Martial Heaven Continent was destroyed by Lord Brahma, the dragon expert brought the innocent commoners away. But those qualified to ascend had been sent to the immortal world. In other words, Zheng Wenlong and the others were definitely in the immortal world. If he could find Zheng Wenlong and start a cooperation with the Huaian Trading Company, then the things in his hands that couldn't see the light of day could finally be exchanged for treasures that he needed. That would quicken his cultivation speed. However, the Huaian Trading Company was incredibly high-end here compared to the Martial Heaven Continent. An ordinary sect wasn't qualified to interact with them. Even the High Firmament Academy would only undergo a business exchange with the Huaian Trading Company once every few years. Since the trading hadn't reached a certain limit, the Huaian Trading Company didn't welcome them that much. Senior, can you help introduce me to the Huaian sect's people? This matter is very important to me, said Long Chen. Scram, you blind someone suddenly shoved him, and without thinking, Long Chen slapped them. As a result, that person tumbled across the ground. Only then did Long Chen remember that he couldn't attack people. Just now, he had struck entirely due to instinct. He pushed me first. Long Chen shouted to express his innocence. He had been warned once and he didn't want to have his qualifications revoked. Just as Long Chen and the others were talking, the group next to them walked over. Originally, they should have been walking beside them, but whether it was intentional or not, they ended up taking a turn, ending up right in front of Long Chen and the others. While everyone else had come to a stop, Long Chen was thinking of Zheng Wenlong's matter and wasn't paying attention to them. Seeing Long Chen not get out of the way, this person pushed him only for Long Chen to slap him out of reflex. That disciple was enraged. He crawled up and roared but was held back from attacking by the others beside him. If such a thing occurs again, then it doesn't matter who is right or wrong. You will all be stripped of your qualifications. The elder's angry shout came from inside the city again. Clearly, he was capable of overseeing everything here clearly. Brat, just wait. Don't let me encounter you on the martial stage or I'll kill you. That disciple spat out some blood and glared at Long Chen. After hearing the elder's words, Long Chen was put at ease. He immediately cloaked himself in arrogance again. Looking down on that person, he disdainfully demanded, You seem dissatisfied with me? What? Is this path yours? Why should I get out of your way? I've seen arrogant people, but I've never seen someone more arrogant than me. If you don't like it, Let's find a place to train with no one else present. Let's see if Boss Long San can beat the crap out of you. You. That person was enraged. He still had a handprint on his face. Luo Hao. Give it up. Take note of your status. What is there to quibble about with a group of clowns that couldn't even gather a hundred experts? Suddenly, a man walked out of the ground. He had shoulder-length hair that was a rare brown color and his bloodline fluctuations were extremely intense. A primal, Luo Bing and the others were shocked. Chapter 3065 Blaze Dragon Gate What Luo Bing and the others hadn't expected was for this person to have the shocking aura of a primal but have no manifestation around him. Clearly, he had not just awakened a primal bloodline. He was already capable of fully controlling his aura. In comparison, young master Chang Chuan was lacking. His manifestation was not fluctuating so intensely, but he still hadn't reached the level of fully restraining it. Just when it came to bloodline control, there was an immense gap between the two. 
After that person spoke up, the one that Long Chen had slapped sneered at Long Chen and left just like that. The brown-haired man looked at Long Chen. Strange runes flowed within his eyes. He suddenly smiled. Interesting. It seems that you aren't someone easy to deal with. Long Chen also smiled. You're also very interesting. To walk the sword down a side path, using a weapon to enter the Tao. That's very rare. The brown-haired man's smile stiffened with a trace of shock. But he quickly nodded. Not bad. You have some tricks. It seems that the High Firmament Academy is no longer willing to just send dancing clowns. You must be making the effort to take a ranking this time. Hmm? Pray that you don't encounter me too early, or none of you will get into the top hundred. Are you very confident? asked Long Chen. Precisely. The man nodded. Excellent. I'm also very confident. I look forward to meeting you early on. Boss Long San always likes to fight those people who think themselves very strong, said Long Chen. Then let's see. Oh, speaking of which, just as the brown-haired man started to turn away, he looked at the other disciples of the High Firmament Academy. Let me warn you, if you don't want to die, you should scram quickly. Otherwise, you will be implicated by this fellow. He's really displeasing. So I will order my Blaze Dragon Gate's disciples to have no mercy if they encounter the disciples of the High Firmament Academy. Take care of your little lives. After that, this person walked straight into the city, ignoring the line. Other disciples followed him, sneering at Long Chen. Some even made contemptuous gestures toward Long Chen and the others. Arrogance raged Baziol. No, this isn't arrogance. This is nothing more than a counterattack to win back some of their faces. If you get angry, you will fall for it. They merely said a few words, while I slapped one of their faces. We're at the advantage. Why can't we let them say a few words? Said Long Chen with a smile. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Bezio laughed Novaloon.com Long Chen looked at the somewhat grave-looking disciples of the High Firmament Academy. Relax a bit. You're the top experts raised by the Battle God Palace. Whether it is in terms of talent or combat experience, after experiencing the baptism of blood and fire, you can't lose face for the Battle God Palace. Otherwise, with the Palace Master's temper, if you get stage fright, he will definitely make you lose a layer of your skin once you get back. We're not afraid of them. But, I know you're not afraid. Those misjivings you have are entirely meaningless. This time, the martial stage will be a battlefield. Fight them as you would on the battlefield. These powers that are targeting us won't have any mercy. Practically, everyone here is an enemy. Do you not see me creating enmity left and right? It's just so that you will feel free to fight as you normally do. We have no allies here, so just kill them as you like, said Long Chen. Luo Bing and the others were speechless. He dared to say that he was creating enmities with everyone just for their benefit? Time passed bit by bit. It was finally the High Firmament Academy's turn. At this moment, Bei Shishi's mother handed over the invitation card, and their statuses were verified one by one. Long Chen and the others were then given tablets. Every tablet needed a drop of their blood, and then it would be exclusively theirs. There couldn't be mistakes in this process, which was why it was so slow. After that, they passed through the Grand Gates. There was a straight and wide path in front of them. Following that path forward, there was another gate. This gate also had people guarding it. And after passing through, everyone was given a jade tile with the rules of Silver Moon City written on it. There were some taboos that they needed to be informed of. After that, an elder appeared in front of Long Chen. He gloomily looked at him. After entering the city, be more well behaved. Don't cause trouble. Hearing his voice. Long Chen realized that this was the elder that had repeatedly warned him before. This child isn't sensible. I'm sure senior apprentice brother has been inconvenienced. Bei Shishi's mother walked over and smiled at him. The two of them were actually acquaintances. The elder waved his hand. It's fine. Why wasn't it brother's hantang this time? It's been years since we've met. He has something that he couldn't get out of. So it was left to me to lead these disciples. Explained Bei Shishi's mother. The elder nodded and didn't say anything further. Bei Shishi's mother then led everyone onwards. However, just at that moment, Long Chen sensed a faint spiritual fluctuation. So he gave the elder a second glance. 
The elder looked at Long Chen with a touch of astonishment, but Bei Shishi's mother had led everyone deeper into the city. They finally arrived in the inner city. Long Chen and the others couldn't help crying out in shock. Every single building here was a skyscraper reaching the clouds. They gave off an ancient and heavy aura. Runes slowly flowed across the buildings. It was as if this city had its own life. Upon setting foot in this place, their souls felt like they had been baptized by spastime. It was as if they were standing in the long river of history. This ancient charm was inexplicable. The history of Silver Moon City can be traced back to 80 million years ago. It has gone through countless battles. The ashen walls weren't originally that color. It was the result of blood splashing onto them. And that blood belonged to the major large races. Turning it that color. That is why you feel as if everything here possesses a kind of unreal feeling. It's as if you can feel the call of history. But that is the undercurrent of remnant spiritual wills coursing through the city. Said Bei Shishi's mother. This was Luo Bing and the others first time hearing such a thing. It felt as if many unseen figures were staring at them. At this moment, Long Chen and the others were welcomed by some beautiful maidens waiting for them on the streets. They held signs that pointed them in the right direction. Following their guidance, they then went into a transportation formation. Silver Moon City was enormous, and it was forbidden to fly inside the city walls. Thus, there were many transportation formations built inside. After three transportations, Long Chen and the others were led to their mansion. This was where the High Firmament Academy's residence was. They really went too far this time. When they arrived, even the well-tempered mother of Bei Shishi was enraged. Chapter 3066 Hua Ian Trading Company They had seen the residences arranged for other sects on the way here. They were all glorious and extravagant. But what they were provided as accommodations was practically a pile of ruins. It was a three-story building that had fallen into disrepair. It was covered in cobwebs and dust. But there was a sign above it. Welcome. High Firmament Academy Even Bei Shishi's mother was enraged by this sight. Although in the past, the High Firmament Academy had always been given very simple residences. It definitely hadn't reached such an extent. This was practically something given to beggars. Luo Bing and the others were also enraged by this bullying. Silver Moon City was so extravagant, but they somehow managed to find such a place for them. On the other hand, Long Chen smiled. It's nothing to be honest. This is nothing more than a stopping point. We'll be leaving when the convention is over. So it's not like we'll be here often. Let's all just clean up together. As he said this, Long Chen took out the cleaning tools and got to work. Sweeping. Luo Bing and the others hastily rushed to help. Mu King Ian grabbed his broom. Brother San, there's no need for you to do anything. I'll do it. Actually, cleaning up this place was very simple. However, it was a clear insult. As they were cleaning, quite a few experts passed by and pointed at them derisively. They said things about Long Chen looking like a beggar, and that this kind of place was most suited to him. When Long Chen eyed that speaker, he couldn't help finding it funny. That person was actually wearing the robes of the Nine Flower Sect. The Nine Flower Sect's envoy had arrived at the academy a few months ago, only to be beaten away by Long Chen. Who would have thought that he would encounter them here? As those disciples mocked them, more people were drawn over. It was like this was a good show. Oh, isn't this the so-called boss Long San who was so indomitable in front of the gates? So he's actually living in these ruins. He... This really suits your character a bunch of mediocre clowns. Now you're more obedient. Eh? Why don't you keep acting arrogant? Long Chen had made quite the show in front of the city gates. So many people recognized him now. His worn down black robes in particular were easy to recognize. Seeing him in this state, they all mocked him. Fuck. Baziol was enraged and about to give them a beating when Long Chen held him back. He couldn't help smiling. Little fellow. Remember, however much grievance you can endure is how much glory you can obtain. True arrogance isn't for other people to see. True arrogance is disdaining to even bother with other people's thoughts. Even if a thousand people point at you and criticize you, you continue to act as yourself. If a group of little fish mock you, you can shatter them with a single fart. Drown them with a single piss. Who cares what they're doing? When a wild beast challenges a dragon the dragon will furiously kill it. 
But have you seen a dragon be provoked by a group of ants? Have you seen a dragon hunt ants? No. Bayziol nodded, but his reactions were a bit slow. Only afterward did he understand, and he laughed. Novaloon.com bastard. Who are you calling ants? You're the ants. Only ants would live in such a wreck. What qualifications do you have to be arrogant now? Are you slapping your own face to make it swell up and look bigger? Now it was the spectators who were enraged. They cursed Long Chen. Long Chen held Bei Ziyol's shoulder and pointed at them. Do you see? They're cursing us, showing that they're angry. But although they're angry, they don't have the power to do anything. They don't even dare to do anything, and they have nowhere to vent their anger. Don't you like watching people who are pissed at you but can't touch you? Especially when they're so stifled from holding it in that smoke starts coming out of their heads. He, boss, I like it. Bayziol smiled brightly and took out two chairs. Boss, let's sit. We can slowly enjoy their expressions. Long Chen and Bayziol sat in front of their residence, crossing their legs and watching contentedly as those people cursed them. Luo Bing and the others laughed. These two really are a perfect pair. Even Bayshishi's mother couldn't hold back a smile. She looked at Bayshishi, but she saw that Bayshishi wasn't looking at Long Chen. However, her expression was odd. She was clearly holding back a smile. With so many people helping, their residence was quickly cleaned up. After all, every person had their own astral space. They could have built their own house there if they had wanted to. However, they were in Silver Moon City, and it was forbidden to sleep outdoors or to summon tools like war chariots or flying boats. So they could only sleep here. Long Chen and Bei Ziyol smiled at those people cursing them. Occasionally. Long Chen would repeat what he had said so that everyone was enraged. In the end, that group of people left, still steaming. They had no other choice. After that, acting like victors, Long Chen and Bei Ziyol went into the house. Bei Ziyol felt like this was the most exciting day of his life. The house was quite big, and after it was cleaned up, there were more than enough rooms for all of them. After arranging things for them, Bei Shishi left. She didn't say where she was going, but she did tell everyone not to wander. However, she had just left when Long Chen also left. He also told everyone not to wander. Long Chen then sat through five transportation formations and arrived in the most luxurious street of Silver Moon City. This place was packed with experts. It was bustling. Long Chen shuttled through the crowd, looking at the various buildings. His gaze quickly brightened when he saw one in particular. Huaian Trading Company. The Huaian Trading Company had a branch here in Silver Moon City. Long Chen had seen it in the jade tile with a map of Silver Moon City, so it was easy to find it. Hello. Do you have an appointment? He had just entered the building and didn't even get a chance to look around closely when a maiden came to greet him courteously. The wealth god's light shines over the world. With the business deos arts, with benevolence, the world will have no more hunger. No more illness. Long Chen murmured something to the maiden. This was something that Zheng Wenlong had taught him. Back then, he had said that it had a special meaning. Long Chen had thought that Zheng Wenlong was trying to drag him under the camp of the wealth god and make him one of his followers. So he had only smiled and not said anything. When he recited it though, the maiden's eyes brightened. So you're also a believer of the wealth god. Do you need any help? Yes. I need help and very much so. Long Chen smiled. He hadn't expected to enter the Huaian Trading Company so easily. He had a premonition that his path to soaring had opened. Chapter 3067 One's capital The attendant brought Long Chen to a luxurious room with a middle-aged man who looked to be in his 40s. His clothes fit well, and they were of high quality but still subdued. Moreover, his bearing was natural, not overbearing. After seating him, the attendant left and the middle-aged man smiled slightly. Sir is not one of the wealth god's followers. Long Chen nodded. I never said I am. That lady mistook me, and I never corrected her. As a result, your distinguished self has been tricked into coming out. Sir is quite frank. However, with the Nine Prefecture Convention, there are many things that I need to deal with. I only have a limited amount of time to accompany you. Long Chen nodded. Those with beliefs really were different. Despite clearly being tricked, he didn't get angry. It was due to following the edicts of a businessman. 
Even with his broken down clothes, Long Chen wasn't looked down upon. Whether it was the maiden who had received him at the entrance, or this middle-aged man who definitely possessed a high status, Long Chen was always treated comfortably. Even his words were tactful. To be more direct, he was saying that even though Long Chen had managed to see him, if Long Chen didn't have anything important, he would be leaving. I know that your time is precious. That's why I came this way. I have two things to discuss. One is to see if we can form a business relationship, while the other is that I hope to entrust the trading company with finding a certain person, said Long Chen. The middle-aged man frowned slightly. He shook his head. Low-level materials can be traded with the auction houses set up under our banner. The Huaian Trading Company only forms business relationships with sects. We very rarely form such a relationship with individuals. Furthermore, while we are spread throughout all aspects of the market, we have no business with searching for people. Clearly, Long Chen had not managed to provoke this man's interest. The Huaian Trading Company only took charge of big businesses. So for a little divine flame novice to want to form a business relationship with them was a huge joke. As for finding someone, that was an even bigger joke. With the Huaian Trading Company's status and position, how could they help him find someone? It was already very magnanimous of the middle-aged man not to directly leave after hearing such a thing. Take a look at this. Long Chen smiled and took out a flower pot with an immortal herb growing on top of it. Divine light shone from it, and water chi spread. It was the divine whisker daffodil. Seeing it, the middle-aged man was a bit surprised. He nodded. The divine whisker daffodil can be considered top tier amongst immortal herbs. This one in particular is perfectly preserved. Every part of it, from its roots, leaves, flower, and stalk, is glistening. It has also reached a ripe age. It's rare for even runes to have appeared on it. The divine whisker daffodil will only grow in places with dense water spiritual chi. It absorbs the water spirit essence, condensing the spiritual chi of heaven and earth. It is definitely worth a great deal of money. It is even capable of raising a medicinal pill's quality. This divine whisker daffodil contains bountiful spiritual chi. Such a thing is very rare, but, but just one isn't able to enter your eyes. Long Chen naturally understood. He waved his hand, and the room was filled with hundreds of flower pots. The two of them were surrounded by divine whisker daffodils, their scent pervading their noses. This is, the middle-aged man was finally moved. All of these divine whisker daffodils were perfectly grown. It had to be known that it was extremely difficult to grow divine whisker daffodils artificially. So for Long Chen to be able to take out so many was truly shocking. If I said that I have tens of thousands hundreds of thousands or perhaps even an unlimited supply of divine whisker daffodils, would I be qualified to work together with your trading company? Asked Long Chen. Hearing that, the middle-aged man was shocked. But he was someone with immense experience and quickly recovered. He nodded. If you truly possess that ability, you are qualified to form a business relationship with the Huaian Trading Company. Although he was calm on the outside, he could not possibly be calm on the inside. The divine whisker daffodils weren't much to the Huaian Trading Company, but such an amount was alarming. The world was truly immense and was filled with endless marvels. This little fellow had truly shaken him. Long Chen then took out a small bottle, opened it and handed it to the middle-aged man. Not daring to be careless, the middle-aged man received it with both hands. That small bottle contained a ball the size of a baby's fist, and there were quite a few creases on top of it. Despite looking a bit ugly, divine light could vaguely be seen coming from within those creases. A giant pill that is also a treasure pill. The middle-aged man was even more shocked. Senior's vision is sharp, even without piercing the pill veil. You were able to tell the quality of the pill. It's truly admirable, said Long Chen sincerely. As expected, businessmen had sharp eyes. Did you refine this? The middle-aged man looked at Long Chen with some disbelief. The most shocking thing about this pill was that, with his vision, he deduced that the pill had been refined less than a month ago. Long Chen nodded. Yes, this little one refined it. The reason I came to the Huaian Trading Company is because I have the resources, and the Huaian Trading Company is the most trustworthy existence. The middle-aged man's shock didn't fade for a long time. 
Long Chen was able to refine giant treasure pills at such an age. Then his future prospects were truly unlimited as his cultivation base grew. If they worked together with Long Chen, then they would have an unlimited supply of divine whisker daffodils and his medicinal pills. Furthermore, as he grew, their gains would also grow more shocking. He had greater expectations of his alchemy arts compared to even the divine whisker daffodils. Thank you for your trust in the Huaian Trading Company. The middle-aged man bowed slightly. This bow indicated that he no longer viewed Long Chen as a guest but as a true client. The Huaian Trading Company's clients were to be treated with the utmost respect. Thus, the wealth god's believers were all very humble. Moreover, the bow also indicated that Long Chen was an official client of the Huaian Trading Company. Long Chen smiled and returned the bow. He could feel a weight falling off of his shoulders. Other than these two, I have many other things I wish to entrust to the Huaian Trading Company to trade. For example, the Wood Foundation Divine Fruit. Long Chen took out another batch of items. Wood Foundation Divine Fruit. The middle-aged man was shocked once more. He found that this black-robed man in front of him was completely unfathomable. The Wood Foundation Divine Fruit were priceless treasures, and the Divine Whisker Daffodils couldn't even be compared to them. My apologies if I slighted you before. Please forgive me. I truly misjudged. I almost missed out on such a huge client. The middle-aged man apologized again. I will arrange for you to get one of the Huaian Trading Company's symbols right now. With it. You can freely come here. The Huaian Trading Company will always welcome you. Long Chen smiled. I'm in no rush. I wish to discuss the other matter now. Chapter 3068 VIP please. Go ahead. Said the middle-aged man hastily. The person that I'm asking the Huaian Trading Company to find is called Jung Wenlong. Just like me. He is an ascender from the lower plane. He is also a pious follower of the wealth god. The two of us can be said to be life and death brothers. In my most dangerous time, I also received the wealth god's aid. Only after the middle-aged man heard what had happened in the lower plane did he learn that Long Chen actually had such a connection with the wealth god. You could have directly explained this from the start, said the middle-aged man, a bit embarrassed. Business is business. Favors are favors. Let us first discuss business, and later we can discuss favors, said Long Chen. Long Chen had his own pride. If he first discussed favors, then it would be as if he had come to seek asylum and was living off of their charity. Even Long Chen's relationship with Zheng Wenlong was the same. They only discuss business. Business was business. There was no need for anything else to be mixed in. The most comfortable thing for Long Chen about working together with the Huaian sect had always been that neither side owed the other any favors. Favors were always the hardest thing to pay back in this world. My apologies. I was rude. I am Xuan Ming, and you can directly call me by my name. May I ask for sir's great name? The middle-aged man clapped his forehead suddenly when he realized that he didn't even know Long Chen's name. I am Long Chen, boss Long San, asked Xuan Ming. Long Chen was surprised. Seeing that expression, Xuan Ming laughed. It seems that it really is you. I didn't expect you to have heard of this name, laughed Long Chen. The news of someone beating up the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance and challenging all the heavenly geniuses outside the city gates has long since spread. Even I received word of it, but I didn't expect that you were that legendary figure, said Xuan Ming with a smile. He continued, the matter of Zheng Wenlong is something that I will handle. However, you should also know that the Huaian Trading Company is spread throughout the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. We have millions and millions of disciples. It will take some time to find him. Long Chen nodded. I understand. I can wait. Brother Zheng Wenlong has helped me out immensely over the years. I have to find him. Before finding him, I can only trouble Brother Xuan Ming. I hope Brother Xuan Ming won't find it annoying. Where did such words come from? Junior brother Long Chen, your potential is limitless. You will only be bringing us bigger business opportunities in the future. If a business that sends itself to us is trouble, then I, Xuan Ming, wish to be surrounded by troubles day and night, laughed Xuan Ming. That's good then. Junior brother still has some things to handle, so I won't disturb you any longer. Long Chen rose and said goodbye. 
Xuan Ming personally sent Long Chen off Novaloon.com when he arrived at the exit. The attendant took out a violet jade tablet, and Xuan Ming handed it to him with both hands. This is our VIP tablet, the Huaian Trading Company's token. With this, you can go to any of the Huaian Company's business centers or auction houses, and receive the warmest welcome. Then many thanks, Brother Xuan Ming. Junior brother will take his leave. Long Chen said goodbye. Xuan Ming then courteously waited outside as Long Chen walked away before returning. Long Chen, why are you here? Long Chen had just left when someone grabbed him, startling him. He turned. Senior, why are you here? Unexpectedly, the person to grab him was Bei Shishi's mother. She was staring at Long Chen in astonishment because she had been passing by in time to see Xuan Ming send him off. Xuan Ming's clothes clearly indicated he was an executive of the Huaian Trading Company, someone with authority. She was stunned to see him personally send off Long Chen so warmly. I was thinking of bringing you here in a few days, but you're in such a rush that you directly came. You must have some ability. Do you have the capital? Asked Bei Shishi's mother. He, such a minor thing is something that I feel bad troubling you for. I can do it myself. It just so happens that I have a good brother from the lower plane who is a devout believer of the wealth god. I myself have received the favor of the wealth god, so I came to ask their help in finding that brother. That senior was very kind and directly agreed to it, said Long Chen. Long Chen didn't dare to say that he would be conducting business with the Huaian Trading Company on his own. After all, he was a disciple of the High Firmament Academy. There would be suspicion that he was taking advantage of the sect like that. However, there were many things in Long Chen's hands that he didn't dare to reveal to everyone. He couldn't trade them for things that he needed in the High Firmament Academy, so he could only go to the Huaian Trading Company. Senior, where did you go? asked Long Chen. Silver Moon City has some of the High Firmament Academy's friends. I went to ask around for them, transmitted Bei Shishi's mother spiritually. Clearly, this was a top secret, like that person from the inner city gates, replied Long Chen spiritually. No, someone else. Although the High Firmament Academy is low-key, its network is very large. I didn't expect that your spiritual strength would be so powerful. You even sensed our spiritual communication yesterday, said Bei Shishi's mother. It was just luck. Speaking of which, there is something I need to discuss with you. Answer me seriously. Go ahead. In truth, the Academy has been developing all these years. We ignore all the gossip of the outside world. In the outside world, not many people know just how powerful the Academy is. The reason so many people are constantly challenging our Academy is because they are probing our power. And some of those people have backers encouraging them to feel out the High Firmament Academy's bottom line. This time in particular. The various powers are forming seals against the academy. Some people are already viewing our disciples as prey, and they are already arranging for the hunters, said Bei Shishi's mother. Long Chen was enraged. They're going too far. No, they really are. I know that they're doing it on purpose to see if we will retreat. If we retreat again, our reputation will plummet. The High Firmament Academy was already on a downwards path, and now we are on the brink of a cliff. Originally, we weren't planning on really competing, so the true experts of the Battle God Palace haven't come, but now it seems that the other side wants to force us. I've already reported this to the Dean, but the Dean simply replied with three words, we will see, that's why I am asking for your opinion, are you really planning on taking first place, of course, that dragon scale is very important to me, I must obtain it, good, then all of you. Go fight as you please. When we get back, I will undo the seal in Beishishi's body. We'll have a real fight with them. A sharp light shone in Beishishi's mother's eyes. A seal. Long Chen was startled. Chapter 3069 The Academy's decision Beishishi's body actually had a seal in it? What seal was so terrifying? You must keep that secret. Even Shishi doesn't know about that seal. That is why she hasn't awakened her primal bloodline. If she learns of it, she will explode, warned Bei Shishi's mother. Senior, don't worry, I'm not so talkative. Long Chen nodded. With your intelligence, you should have seen the problem with the academy, said Bei Shishi's mother. Yes, 
I suppose I can see a bit. Everything the Academy reveals is just for others to see. Their decline is a facade, said Long Chen. Correct. Ever since the Academy started to be suppressed, it became Loki, secretly growing its power. It is far stronger than you imagine. Hence, you can mess around as you please this time. The High Firmament Academy is no longer planning on being Loki and will support you. They dare to treat our disciples as prey? Then we'll fight to the death. Beishishi's mother was clearly infuriated. The other side had gone too far. He, that's my specialty, said Long Chen with an evil smile. He might not be good at other things, but when it came to causing trouble, he was confident he could flip heaven and earth. They walked as they talked. Quite a few people on the street stared at Long Chen and gossiped amongst themselves. Some of them were even pointing. They clearly recognized this boss Long San that had violently beaten the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance in front of the city gates. Of course, quite a few people also put on scornful gazes and made provoking gestures. Long Chen turned his nose up at those people and ignored them. With the Academy having such an attitude, he completely disdained bothering to acknowledge those small fries. When they got back, Bei Shishi's mother called over her daughter and entered a room with her. Long Chen knew that they were undoing her seal. Brother Long, unexpectedly, Long Chen had just sat down when young master Chang Chuan walked over and greeted him. Do you need something? Long Chen looked at him curiously. His expression was a bit unnatural. It seemed that he wanted to say something but was too embarrassed to say it. Ah, I want to ask you for some pointers, said young master Chang Chuan. Luo Bing and the others stared at him in astonishment. This prideful person who had been like water and fire with Long Chen was now asking him for help so courteously? Go ahead. Long Chen looked at this handsome brother with interest. I've asked around about you. Brother Long, you are distinguished and accomplished, confident and at ease, surrounded by beauties, possessing shocking charisma. Long Chen waved his hand. That's enough of the script. Just tell me what you have to say. I'll help you if I can. Many thanks. Brother Long, I know that you are very skilled in that regard. Can you teach me that regard? Long Chen was startled, but seeing his bashful expression he suddenly understood. Picking up girls, Luo Bing and the others stared at him in astonishment. Seeing him nod, Luo Ning almost coughed up blood. She had always viewed him as being prideful and arrogant, so she hadn't expected him to say such a thing. You want me to teach you how to pursue Bei Shishi? Asked Long Chen. I hope Brother Long can help, said young master Chang Chuan. He actually bowed. Apologize. Long Chen's expression suddenly hardened, and his voice turned cold. Seeing him suddenly turn hostile, young master Chang Chuan was startled. What is it? I want you to apologize. Long Chen glared at him. Young master Chang Chuan's expression changed several times, but he finally said, Fine, I apologize. Why are you apologizing? Asked Long Chen. Isn't it because you told me to apologize? Demanded young master Chang Chuan angrily. Do you know where you were wrong? Asked Long Chen. How am I supposed to know where I was wrong? Demanded young master Chang Chuan. You don't even know where you were wrong. But you're apologizing? Do you have something wrong with your head? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. You're completely unreasonable roared young master Chang Chuan. Long Chen sighed his angry expression fading. He indifferently said, you failed the test. I'd advise you to give up. Seeing him suddenly calm down and become a different person, everyone was stunned. What young master Chang Chuan was dumbfounded. What else? You don't even know how to handle a woman's unreasonable side. So how could you pursue one? You wish to talk reason with a woman? If you could do such a thing, you might as well fly to the heavens and stand shoulder to shoulder with the sun said Long Chen. Only then did Luo Bing understand that he was imitating when a woman got angry. That act was so real that they really thought that he was angry. Now that they thought back to it, they couldn't help finding it laughable. Not all women are like that, said young master Chang Chuan, unconvinced. Of course not all women are like that, but one who is strong, with peerless aptitude, superior standards, a powerful background, no sense of crisis. A woman loved by all, will definitely have such a temper. If a woman had to depend on you to live, then naturally she would be more submissive. 
But Beisha, she is her own woman. She has everything she wants. What she doesn't have, she can obtain with her own work. She doesn't need to depend on anyone. If you want to pursue her, you'll have to accept her flaws. Just like how the women who worship you must accept your flaws when they pursue you as well. Long Chen patted young master Chang Chuan's shoulder, profoundly saying, Little fellow, there is no peerless technique to picking up girls in this world. If you like a person, it gives that person the power to hurt you. You have to be prepared to be wounded, like two hedgehogs. If you like her and are afraid of stabbing her, you will pluck out all your thorns. That way, you won't harm her, and you will be able to get closer to her. Right now, you are only thinking of happiness, but love is joy and pain. You don't want that pain? There's no such thing in this world. Are you all the same? Young Master Chang Chuan looked at Luo Bing and the others. Luo Bing shook her head. Our enemies watch us like tigers. The family's situation is unstable, so I don't have time to pursue romantic thoughts. Young Master Chang Chuan grew hesitant, and no one knew what he was thinking. It was Long Chen who said, The reason you hesitate is, to put it frankly, the person you love most is yourself. If you encountered someone you really love, you would be fine being stabbed. You would even lose your own life for them. That's why. Although that girl Beishishi looks good, she doesn't suit you. Just as he said this, he suddenly felt a chill on his neck. A golden sword was pressed up against it. After that, Beishishi's icy voice rang out from behind him. Talk about me behind my back again, and I'll slaughter you. Chapter 3070 Instructor Convention at some unknown point. Beishishi had appeared behind Long Chen. Her gaze so ominous it appeared as if she wished to kill and eat people. Cough. Fairy Shishi, I was wrong, said Long Chen extremely awkwardly. With the sword on his neck, he had no choice but to lower his head. Noveloon.com Where were you wrong? Demanded Bei Shishi. Her tone and words were exactly the same as how Long Chen had questioned young master Chang Chuan. It almost made Luo Bing and the others laugh. Long Chen began to sweat. It seemed that this girl had heard everything before entering. He had actually been speaking with such frank assurance before. Just thinking about it made a chill run up his back. I was wrong in that. Long Chen suddenly looked at young master Chang Chuan. I was wrong in that I took a stand of principle. Trying to help others onto the right path. If you have to blame someone, blame him. He's the one who wants to pursue you. Bei Shishi's gaze then turned to young master Chang Chuan. He instantly felt a chill and shook his head. I didn't ask anything just now. I didn't slander fairy Shishi at all. Every single person here can testify to that. You don't even have the guts to admit it, but you want to pick up girls. The face of the life forbidden zone has been completely lost by you. Long Chen hadn't expected young master Chang Chuan to be such a coward. Young master Chang Chuan fled far into the distance, lowering his head and not saying a word. It was as if he didn't even see or hear Long Chen. Bei Shishi's frosty face once more turned to Long Chen. Her sword continued to rest on his neck. HMPH. Do you dare to kill me? You want to just stare? Let's see who's afraid of who. Long Chen looked back at Bei Shishi. Just like that. Many minutes passed. Everyone else was silent. And the atmosphere was very tense. Bei Shishi was quite patient. Just like that. She glared at Long Chen without the slightest intention of retreating. In the end. It was Long Chen whose eyes started hurting. Tears almost came out. That was due to researching the three flower pupils lately. So he had been overusing his eyes. He was unable to outstare her. Feeling he was about to cry and that this would be too embarrassing. He conceded. Your skin is very good. Luo Ning hadn't expected Long Chen to suddenly spit out such a random thing. And a chuckle escaped her lips before she covered it up. Luo Bing and the others bitterly endured. They looked at Bei Shishi. While the others wanted to laugh. Her expression didn't even twitch in the slightest. She wasn't moved at all. Why don't you sit for a bit? I'm sure standing all this time is tiring probed Long Chen. Once more, Bei Shishi just stared at him silently. Finally, Long Chen couldn't endure any longer. He suddenly covered his face and wiped away tears from his eyes. I really am moved. It's my first time being stared at by a beautiful woman for so long. You actually didn't vomit? I must be more attractive than I thought. Long Chen finally couldn't help the tears from coming.
but he immediately acted as if it was from being moved by Beishishi. He even sobbed a few times. Mu Qingyan and the others didn't know what was happening with his eyes. Seeing him actually manage to squeeze out tears, they almost laughed. Next time you use me to make a joke, don't blame me for turning hostile. Bei Shishi snorted and walked away. Once she was gone, Long Chen sighed with relief. He was very sullen inside. If he wasn't in the wrong, why would he have to act so servile? Brother Long, my sincere apologies. Young Master Chang Chuan came back. My brother San helped you out of the kindness of his heart, and you tossed him into a hole just to run off yourself, said Mu Qingyan frostily. I wasn't just running away. I simply felt that Brother Long's words were correct. Perhaps I should consider finding someone with a better temper. Actually, during the registration, I saw quite a few decent women, said young Master Chang Chuan. Luo Bing and the others were speechless. It seemed that this young master Chang Chuan changed ideas far too quickly. No, he was giving up just like this. TCH, I can't be bothered with you. All you can do is trick some ignorant young women with your face. If you encounter women with any real ability, with your character, you'll be beaten to death sooner or later, said Long Chen, rubbing his throat that was still a bit sore. That's why I ask Brother Long for your teachings, said young master Chang Chuan. You want to be taught? I only have one life, and I want to live a bit longer, so give it up. But you are correct. The Nine Prefecture Convention has millions of outstanding women attending. Perhaps you will encounter someone that suits you. However, if you want to have the highest odds of encountering a woman like that, you must grasp this opportunity, said Long Chen solemnly. What opportunity asked young master Chang Chuan hastily? You must show off your talent at the convention. Let more people recognize you. Eliminate some people targeting us. Do you know what you are lacking most right now? Long Chen patted young master Chang Chuan's shoulder. What am I lacking? You lack the domineeringness a man should have. You give off the feeling of a boy, not a man. A man must have responsibility, daring, and domineeringness. This time, why don't we directly take first place in the competition? What do you think? A glint flickered in Long Chen's eyes. On the way here, Bei Shishi's mother had told Long Chen that he should think of a way to make young master Chang Chuan go all out without holding back. But, my people told me to just play around and leave it, not to compete for the rewards, said young master Chang Chuan. Long Chen instantly understood where the problem lay. Young master Chang Chuan came from that mysterious life forbidden area, and his background was shocking. So he was only here to attend for the experience, not to make a name for himself. Perhaps he also didn't wish to be used by the academy. That was why Bei Shishi's mother would ask Long Chen to do such a thing. Well, it's up to you. I said that you're like a child. You're just going to listen to others and not use your own brain? You can't even handle your own affairs? Then what can you do? Can you become a bit more manly? Said Long Chen scornfully. Young Master Chang Chuan clenched his teeth. Fine, I'll listen to you. I'll go all out this time. Right, that's what a man should do. This is such a good opportunity. Wouldn't it be a waste to just let it slip away? Wouldn't you have regrets? Such a grand stage has been set up for you. You can use it to unleash your light. What else is cultivation for? Encouraged Long Chen. Brother Long is right. I'll go activate my final bloodline rune right now. Just like that, young master Chang Chuan returned to his room. Just like Bei Shishi, young master Chang Chuan had an extremely large room for improvement. He still had trump cards. Long Chen suddenly wanted to know just how terrifying this fellow that came from the life forbidden area was. Three days passed. Today was the day of the Tao discussion, and everyone from the High Firmament Academy was brought to a plaza on the western side of Silver Moon City. This plaza was filled with people. It was a sea of people that stretched further than his sight. Long Chen, the instructors are counting on you. Bei Shishi's mother looked at Long Chen. This Tao discussion was only for Long Chen. No one else from the academy could help him. Not even her. Don't worry. I won't lose the academy's face. Long Chen gave her a thumbs up and patted his chest. Just like that, he swaggered up the Tao discussion stage. When he did. A hissing sound rang out. Why would this fellow appear here? Isn't he? 
Heavens. Chapter 3071 Provoking everyone when Long Chen arrived. The various experts stared in disbelief. Is he participating in the Dao discussion? An instructor. Seeing him walk up the Dao discussion stage, everyone was dumbfounded. Such a young person was actually part of the instructors discussing the Dao? Was this a joke? Hence, everyone's gaze focused on Long Chen. He looked more like a beggar in his tattered clothes. Isn't he that arrogant boss Long San who beat up the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance? People quickly recognized his status and became even more shocked. I heard he comes from the High Firmament Academy. The High Firmament Academy has already declined. But has it really reached the point where they would send a beggar to attend? Those who could attend the Tao discussion were the wisest, most erudite instructors of the largest sects. And they were all old monsters that had lived for countless years. Such a youngster had never appeared. Hence, all the others who were waiting on the stage had white hair and looked to almost be fossilized. Those elders instantly frowned when they saw Long Chen arrive. Long Chen, did you come to embarrass yourself? You want everyone to laugh at the High Firmament Academy? You should hurry up and scram. He had only just arrived when someone shouted at him, trying to anger him. Noisy. Long Chen glanced at that person, his hands clasped behind his back. He arrogantly announced, When Boss Long San arrives, the earth roars and the heaven screams. When Boss Long San leaves, ghosts cry and gods weep. In the past and in the future, wherever Boss Long San goes, gods retreat, immortals and devils submit. The name of Boss Long San resounds through the three deos and six worlds, the nine heavens and ten lands. Heaven and earth are within my hands. Mountains and plains are beneath my feet. Little cultivators, shouldn't you kowtow and worship me? Also, how dare you point at Boss Long San? Long Chen's voice rang clearly throughout every corner of the plaza. It contained unparalleled arrogance and disdain. I finally understand what true arrogance is. Bei Ziyol's blood was practically boiling with heat as he watched. The Tao discussion was attended not only by countless elite heavenly geniuses but also almighty experts like Bei Shishi's mother. In front of all of them, Long Chen didn't feel the slightest fear, instead viewing them as far beneath him. Just what kind of arrogance, what kind of wildness, what kind of domineeringness did this require? Bei Shishi's mother almost laughed. Long Chen truly was a marvel. Even his acting skills had reached the peak, ignoring whether or not Long Chen actually had the ability to back up those words. Just being able to say such a thing in front of so many people was already amazing. Even someone like her would feel immense pressure when being stared at by millions and millions of experts. But Long Chen was someone who had experienced far greater things. He had experienced the destruction of the Martial Heaven continent, so this kind of thing was unable to make him nervous. All the experts present were enraged. They had seen arrogant people before but never someone this arrogant. Ignorant brat, you will pay the price for your foolishness. Even divine lord experts were enraged and cursed him. Who do you think you are a little divine flame rookie dares to spout such wild words? Are you trying to make everyone laugh to death? The high firmament academy has reached the bottom. They sent a little clown to infuriate everyone. Are they trying to find a sense of existence? There are so many people here. If everyone spat out, they'd drown you. You call yourself Boss Long San? Are you trying to get yourself killed in a flashy style? Long Chen's words caused huge waves, and countless people stood and cursed him, as if they really wanted to curse him to death. Looking at their emotional faces, Long Chen spread his arms and announced, Excellent. That's right. Stand. Stand for me. Wait for me. Let me see your passion. Yes. Just like that. Cheer for me. Shout for me. The day Boss Long San soars is the day you kneel and worship me. Don't worry. I'll be bringing all you trash flying with me. Come. One. Two. Three. Four. Follow along with my rhythm. Long Chen shouted along with them. Gesturing as if he was a conductor. As a result. Those people shouting and cursing him went green with rage. Due to how many people were cursing, all their voices clashed, so it was impossible to tell what they were saying. Just like that, Long Chen's act made it seem like they really were cheering for him. Sit down. Stop cursing him. Just let him stand there alone. Some people tried to control the scene, but there were too many people cursing. 
They couldn't even hear their own voices. It was complete chaos. Seeing such a sacred place be turned into this state, Luo Bing and the others didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Long Chen really was powerful. Just how had he done this? Silence. Suddenly, space shuddered and the Tao discussion stage lit up. At the same time, a voice resounded like a celestial roar, which turned the world dark and then blindingly bright, causing everyone to jump. The shouting was cut off. Long Chen, as a heaven master instructor of the High Firmament Academy, you should hurry up and enter the Tao discussion stage. Don't heckle with the crowd, said that voice coldly. Long Chen isn't warned. Luo Bing found it a bit curious. To cause such a ruckus was not a minor affair. Bei Shishi's mother smiled. That's because he hasn't touched any of the rules. So the convention can't do anything to him. They can only advise him to hurry up. No such precedence has appeared before. So I suspect that the next convention will have a few more rules to avoid such a thing from occurring again. After all, a marvel like Long Chen hasn't appeared in hundreds of thousands of years. He's completely out of expectations. Long Chen smiled. Looking at those furious experts, he shrugged innocently and swaggered up the stage. This was an ancient altar that was covered in runes. This Tao discussion stage came from ancient times. In fact, no one knew whether it was the Silver Moon City or the Tao discussion stage that came first. This Tao discussion stage had pillars on it that were several meters high. An elder was sitting on every pillar, and there were hundreds of them. Once Long Chen was on the stage, a screen of light blocked his path. Long Chen then took out a jade tablet. The next moment, the jade tablet merged with the screen of light and vanished. A gate then appeared. After walking through it, he was officially on the Tao discussion stage. Just as he entered, a place lit up on the ground for him. Long Chen walked over to it and sat down lotus style just like everyone else. A stone pillar slowly raised him into the air, bringing him to the same elevation as everyone else here. Long Chen, I'll return the humiliation you caused me this time. Just as he sat down, a sinister voice rang out behind him. Chapter 3072 Does your face not hurt? Long Chen turned back and saw a familiar face. It was the Nine Flower Sect's Ji Li. He was representing the Nine Flower Sect in the Tao discussion. Oh, Heaven Master Ji Li, does your face not hurt? Asked Long Chen in a concerned tone. As soon as he said this, Ji Li's face twisted and flames almost burst out of his eyes. Long Chen had slapped him in the face back then, and that had cast a shadow on his heart. And just when they met again, Long Chen picked at this scab, infuriating him. In truth, although the Nine Flower Sect had been the one accepting the High Firmament Academy's invitation to discuss the Tao, they were actually the one that had wanted to come, and not with good intentions either. The Nine Flower Sect was ranked near the bottom just like the High Firmament Academy. However, while they weren't strong in the Tao discussion, their disciples did have some accomplishments. They were at least stronger than the High Firmament Academy. Some of their disciples had gotten into the top hundred. At that time, Ji Li had brought disciples over simply to give them a tempering experience. To put it frankly, they were there to bully others. That was why they hadn't waited at the gates and had simply charged in, not wanting to give the Academy a chance to be ready for them. This would allow his disciples to see the High Firmament Academy in chaos, boosting their confidence. A Grand Master of the Tao discussion might appear amongst them in the future. However, he hadn't expected a disciple sweeping the ground would ruin his plans. Ultimately, they left after a miserable defeat. Now when he saw that the High Firmament Academy had sent Long Chen over, he instantly understood that they had given up on the Tao discussion. Their elders cowered like tortoises in their shells, and they sent a disciple to embarrass himself. He was already ready to target Long Chen when Long Chen said one single sentence that almost made him cough up blood. What is it? Your skin is pinched like a trouser crotch. Are you constipated? asked Long Chen. You. Just wait. Ji Li could barely speak. He knew that he would never be able to compete with Long Chen when it came to cursing. After shutting Ji Li up, Long Chen smiled disdainfully. If he wanted to wait, then fine. When had he ever been afraid? At this moment, more instructors arrived. Those people would first greet everyone around to express their own humbleness. The people below the stage waved back to them. However, 
their welcome clearly wasn't as enthusiastic as when they had welcomed Long Chen. In fact, due to their hatred for Long Chen, many people were simply ignoring everyone else coming onto the stage. Long Chen suddenly noticed that there was someone looking at him hostily. When he looked over, he laughed inside. He then warmly greeted him. Hey, does your face not hurt? That person was precisely the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance that he had beat up in front of Silver Moon City. He was also present. That gaze full of killing intent was responded to with Long Chen's cordial greeting. As a result, the Dark Tiger Alliance's leader's expression sank, but he didn't say anything in response. It seemed that he wasn't baited, but Long Chen saw that his calmness was fake. Veins were throbbing on the back of his hands. After a bit, the entire Dao discussion stage suddenly shook and rose a few meters into the air. Its runes flowed, and divine light soared into the sky. It was as if the heavens were lit up. It was a shocking scene. Just at that moment, an ancient voice rang out. All heaven masters of the Dao discussion have arrived. The Dao discussion convention is about to start. However, just before we start, according to custom, we will first give everyone a chance to get used to it. A ball of light appeared. There was something inside that was a few meters long. Due to the divine light, it was impossible to see what was inside. This is an ancient stell. There are Jiuli immortal characters carved into it, and whoever can completely translate it will win 30 meters for their divine pillar, said that ancient voice. This referred to the pillars that everyone was sitting on. Whoever translated it would rise 30 meters into the air. This Tao discussion stage was an ancient and mysterious divine item with its own rules. It could distinguish the laws and principles of the heavenly deos, and it was what would judge whether a person's words were correct or not. It could be considered the instructor overseeing an exam when someone answered a question or said something that received its approval. Their divine pillar would rise to show their placement. If they answered wrongly or said something that didn't receive the Tao discussion stage's approval, they would fall. The starting point was only 3 meters, and every mistake would cost them a foot. Once they were wrong 10 times, the divine pillar would recede back into the Tao discussion stage, and they would be out of the Tao discussion. Such a scene was very rare. Most people were eliminated not due to answering incorrectly. Instead, as time passed, once the divine pillars had risen to a certain level, people would start being eliminated based on who was lowest. Hence. This first question was actually quite important. Whoever could answer correctly would obtain a reward that brought them to a better starting point. Hence, everyone's gaze concentrated on the divine light. The divine light scattered, revealing a tablet with Jiuli immortal characters carved into it. For a moment, everyone was simply dumbfounded. Third generation? No. Are they second generation Jiuli immortal characters just at this moment? A strange voice rang through the air stunning everyone. That was the sound of a button being pressed. Someone had actually fully translated it so quickly? How was that possible? Everyone looked around, and their eyes finally landed on one person's pillar whose runes had lit up. It was as conspicuous as a full moon in the night sky. When they saw the person on the pillar, they grew even more shocked. It was a black-robed man with a lifeless expression. Long Chen was also staring in shock. His posture was very odd. He then slowly lowered his head and saw that at some point, a button had appeared beneath his hand. Long Chen hadn't even been paying attention to the tablet. He found that his sitting posture wasn't too comfortable. So he was changing position when his hand pressed the button that came out of the pillar just at that moment. That fool. Bei Shishi and the others all knew what had happened when they saw his stiff expression. Bei Shishi cursed him. This shouldn't count. Right said Long Chen, feeling lost. Since you've pressed the button to answer, you must answer or you will be eliminated. The ancient voice responded. Fuck, wasn't that a con? That was clearly not intentional. Long Chen was speechless. He could only look at the tablet. He found that the Jiuli immortal characters on the tablet were a mix. Upon close examination, he could see third-generation Jiuli immortal characters mixed in with second-generation Jiuli immortal characters. Long Chen could recognize third-generation Jiuli immortal characters. As for second-generation characters, he could tell what they were but not what they meant. How was he supposed to translate them? Seeing his expression, 
Everyone knew that he had accidentally pressed the button. Hands, sneers and scoffing sounds rang out from the crowd. Geely and the leader of the Dark Tiger Alliance both had delighted smiles. In the worst case scenario, he would simply give the wrong answer. Hands, after close examination, Long Chen suddenly exclaimed in shock. Lord Brahma, Chapter 3073 The Heavens Number 1 Dipper User What Long Chen hadn't expected was to recognize Lord Brahma's name in this tablet. This was actually a tablet recording something about Lord Brahma. Although he couldn't read second-generation immortal characters, there were some third-generation characters on it as well. Just the third-generation characters alone weren't enough for him to tell the entire contents. But he could tell that this was a virtue tablet for Lord Brahma. Fuck. A traitor who caused the death of his master also gets virtue tablets created for him? Try to have some shame. Raged Long Chen Novaloon.com Heaven Master Long Chen. Do your best to answer quickly, or you will be eliminated. The ancient voice rang out again. Long Chen took a deep breath, seeing all the looks of delight on his countless enemies. He smiled indifferently. This is a virtue tablet related to Lord Brahma. It records some past achievements of Lord Brahma's youth. A. When he said this, in the distance, an elder covered in wrinkles made a shocked sound. But just as Long Chen looked at him, he covered up his shock as if nothing had happened. Very good. Continue. The ancient voice rang out once more, shocking everyone. Long Chen could actually read second generation Jiuli immortal characters? How was that possible? Long Chen cursed inside. How could he continue? He couldn't tell anything further. His translation would definitely be wrong. Thickening his skin, he confidently said. The heavens were enlightened over seven years, and in the 50th year of the 60-year cycle, divinity descended. A youth ascended to the nine heavens. You must use plain words to translate, warned the voice. Long Chen nodded. In the era of legends when the heavens were formed, an especially piss-like person appeared. He enjoyed success in his youth, like dancing on the edge of a blade, showing off so much that his light soared through the nine heavens, disturbing everyone. When he set out to achieve his Tao, he possessed innate divine energy, and in his hands he held two dads. Oh, sorry, I misread that. It says two hatchets. His first line was correct, as that was written with third generation characters. Then the rest were second generation characters that he didn't recognize, and he directly pretended to read off of it. His expression solemn. Wherever his hatchets passed, no man could stop them. He then had an encounter of fate, finding a violet gold gourd, and became even more amazing, beating his enemies until they were terrified just hearing of him, their underpants flying in the wind. Later, he achieved his Tao, and with new enlightenment, he split his gourd in two, burying half in the ground to absorb the essence of heaven and earth, while he carried the other half throughout the heavens. The half gourd was called a dipper, and he was famous for becoming the heaven's number one dipper user. Henceforth, the dipper went east, south, west, north, passing through spring, summer, autumn, and winter Aya. 1. Long Chen was in the midst of spouting absolute nonsense when the divine pillar he was sitting on sank. The divine pillar was only one foot from the ground. Long Chen was almost eliminated. Your nonsense has infuriated the Tao discussion stage. You directly descend nine levels. You now only have one more chance. Shape up said that ancient voice. Normally, when people answered wrongly, they only fell a single foot. But Long Chen's deliberate nonsense was a disregard for the dignity of the Tao discussion stage, and so he was directly kicked down nine levels, only one step from being eliminated. The Tao discussion stage had its own item spirit. This nonsense Long Chen was spouting had infuriated it, and so it gave him a strict punishment. This was not done by someone else but by the Tao discussion stage itself. Ha ha ha, you deserve it. Excellent just as I said. He's a brat that still smells of his mother's milk. How could he possibly recognize second generation immortal characters? Ah, this is so refreshing. It would be best if someone immediately eliminated him. Countless people smiled brightly. Long Chen's punishment made them want to dance in celebration. Luo Bing and the others looked at each other. They had thought that he really knew what he was saying with his serious expression. But it was all nonsense. How capable. Bei Shishi spat out two indifferent words. 
It was unknown if it was mocking or praise. Most likely, it was the former. As soon as Long Chen was punished, someone else answered. It was that elder that had let out the small exclamation of shock before. The elder calmly translated the tablet. This was a tablet recording how Lord Brahma had fallen into the flame domain in his youth and was besieged by evil dragons. He then comprehended the Tao in the flame domain and slew those flame dragons. There was nothing about hatchets, gourds, or dippers. After the elder smoothly and fluently translated it, a round of applause came from the crowd. Some people also cursed Long Chen. Do you see? This is a true instructor. Someone wise and experienced. A paragon of virtue and learning. But then look at yourself. A newborn baby also dares to call himself an instructor? You've lost the face of the High Firmament Academy if I were you. I'd just kill myself on the stage. What face do you have to keep living? No. If he died here, it would be a blasphemy to the divine stage. Find a dung pit to drown yourself in. Trash should die in trash. Just at this moment, the elder's divine pillar slowly rose. He smiled and looked at Long Chen kindly. Youngster, you should be more low-key. You should be aware of yourself and aware of what you are lacking. Hitting your own face to make it bigger is meaningless. After all, you're not a fatty. Hold it. I suspect this elder of cheating shouted Long Chen suddenly. As soon as he said this. Countless people below the stage cursed him, but he ignored them, continuing. Dao Discussion Senior, I know you are present. I apologize for my previous conduct. This junior was not respectful enough to senior. However, I have to report that this shameless fellow is cheating. Please light up the third section's fifth line and have him translate it. Long Chen's words shocked everyone. He was actually talking to the Dao Discussion stage? Was he mad? It never conversed with the outside world. Even more shockingly, just then, a line of character lit up on the divine tablet. It was the line that Long Chen had indicated. Senior Dao discussion. You. Just at this moment, the expert managing the entire convention that hadn't revealed himself yet cried out in shock. At that moment, an order appeared on the stage. Translated. The Dao discussion stage was actually agreeing with Long Chen. Ignoring everyone. It demanded this elder to translate this line that he had previously translated. That elder's expression instantly changed. He began to sweat. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. Everyone could tell that something was wrong. Could it be that he actually cheated? Luo Bing stared in shock. Old fellow, go ahead. If you're a real fatty, please start your performance, said Long Chen with a sinister smile. One. Dipper user sounds like prostitute. Chapter 3074 Triggering everyone's rage Everyone was silent as they stared at the elder. The Tao discussion stage had its own will? They had never heard of such a thing. In their memory, the Tao discussion stage was nothing more than a tool used for this exam. It never communicated with others like this. So it was absolutely shocking. Just how was Long Chen able to summon its spirit? Long Chen had found it a bit curious that this elder was so shocked when he started to translate the tablet. He even seemed anxious, but that wasn't enough for Long Chen to suspect him. The real problem came when he translated the tablet's character so shockingly smoothly. When Long Chen was kicked down, he could sense the Tao discussion stage's anger. He hadn't known that the Tao discussion stage didn't interact with the outside world. It was only when he saw everyone's shocked gazes that he realized this. That elder was sweating and panicking, but putting on a calm expression. He said, the flame domain's evil dragon's sharp claws and teeth tore through the void. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. As expected, you can't read second generation immortal characters. You probably can't even read third generation characters. This line that you translated should be translated as the evil dragon's eyes were like a curse from hell. Only when they're linked to the next line would they be translated differently as you said. You don't know how to translate these characters. And you simply memorized the translated text that someone gave you beforehand. If you had translated it without such an act, I wouldn't have noticed. But you used your finger to point at the characters you were translating. Although I don't recognize all these characters, I recognize third generation characters. The way that you were pointing and the speed that you were translating were completely off. An uproar exploded. 
whether it was from the experts watching or the other instructors on the stage. They stared in fury at the elder. However, they were scared by his status and didn't say anything yet. Absolute nonsense. I, I just misread it and translated both lines together, said the elder. Idiot, you really are guilty. Why don't you look at the line that the Tao discussion stage senior has asked you to translate? Was it that line I mentioned said Long Chen? People turned and looked at the tablet again. They found that it wasn't the third section's fifth line that was illuminated. Second generation Jiuli immortal characters were so complex that they wouldn't have even noticed that they were different. However, when they compared the lines closely, they quickly found that these weren't the same line at all. Fool, you can't translate. Based on what you memorized, you simply picked out the part most likely to be the third section. Fifth line. You wanted to test your luck and see if you could guess right. But you didn't even look at the immortal characters right in front of you. Well, even if you looked, it would have been useless. Idiot. Do you confess now? Sneered Long Chen. Without waiting for a response, Long Chen announced. Everyone. Do you see? This so-called Nine Prefecture Convention is a huge joke. Some people are choosing their own athletes and referees. Treating all the heroes of the Nine Prefectures as dancing monkeys. They dare to openly cheat in the Tao discussion convention. They are giving your money to the people that they've picked. Don't you think the Nine Prefecture Convention should give everyone an explanation? Countless people were enraged. Although they disliked Long Chen, this flagrant cheating was far more insulting. The elder in charge of the Tao discussion convention hastily said, My Silver Moon City will definitely give everyone an explanation for this matter. Everyone, please. However, before he finished speaking, the stage quivered. That cheating elder on the divine pillar suddenly exploded. This is, everyone was stunned. The elder had actually been killed by the Tao discussion stage. The Tao discussion senior may have executed the cheater, but that doesn't mean that this matter is over. I heard that the martial Tao convention is just as bad. Although it looks as if you're drawing lots, they've actually rigged it behind the scenes making sure to block everyone who can threaten them outside of the top hundred, so that some people can't obtain any rewards. They keep those rewards for their own people. A group of pigs are sharing the spoils of the hard workers of the nine prefectures. HMPH. The nine prefecture convention is truly rotten to the core. Friends, let's all just leave. Don't let others treat you as fools, said Long Chen. He actually stood up on the pillar. The Nine Prefecture Convention must give us a satisfactory explanation Silver Moon City. You've betrayed our trust. This is completely intolerable Boss Long San. I'll support you this time. What kind of garbage convention is this? Treating us like stepping stones? Fuck off. Long Chen's words caused an uproar. After all, 99% of the people present were victims. Before this, they had simply thought that their power was inferior and since they had gambled, they had to be willing to pay up. Only a very small number of powers managed to consistently get the rewards. As for the dirty tricks of the Nine Prefecture Convention, if the tricks were beneficial to them, they naturally wouldn't say anything. Also, some powers clearly knew that there were dark secrets, but they didn't dare to say it and could only thicken their face and come. However, even then, it was only the higher-ups that were aware of this not the disciples. They had come here with hopes of gaining fame and obtaining a reward that they didn't even dare to dream of obtaining. But now they found that it was all a con. The higher-ups were treating them like monkeys. How could this be acceptable? The crowd was even more enraged than when they had been cursing Long Chen. Calm down. Calm down. We will definitely give everyone a satisfactory response. I guarantee it. The elder overseeing things stood in the sky and shouted. Also panicking, he had never seen such a thing. This was too big of a ruckus. An explanation? What kind of explanation? Killing a few meaningless scapegoats to tell everyone that the chief offenders are now gone? Appeasing everyone with some meaningless compensation? After obtaining everyone's trust, you'll discuss how to cheat next time without getting caught, sneered Long Chen. The elder's expression sank. He glared at Long Chen who then said, What? Are you trying to scare me? Boss Long San isn't afraid of heaven or earth, let alone you. I'm not ashamed to say that I stopped playing such games years ago. 
You might be able to cut off my head, but you can't make me lower my head. Seeing Long Chen going directly against the overseeing elder, quite a few people actually cheered for him. They were standing on his side. At this time, they no longer felt him to be so offensively arrogant. Then what do you want? Demanded the elder coldly, a trace of killing intent leaking out of his eyes. Chapter 3075 Attacked on all sides It's simple. Leave everything regarding the Nine Prefecture Convention to the Huaian Trading Company. I trust in the Huaian Trading Company's reputation. If left to them, I believe that no one present will oppose it. Am I right? Long Chen called out to the experts below the stage. Agreed. 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 Those disciples cheered loudly. The golden reputation of the Huaian Trading Company was something that they could trust. If they really did this as Long Chen said, they would rejoice. If they don't accept, we will refuse to attend this con. We're all going home. That's right. We're not going to stay idiots forever. That's not enough. You have to hand over all the money you conned out of us first. The seniors present didn't say anything due to their misjivings. But the junior generation weren't so shrewd. They roared furiously, unleashing their anger. The elder's expression was ugly, but he didn't say anything. It seemed that he was waiting for orders. After a moment, he finally said, The city lord has said that Silver Moon City is definitely innocent. We did not participate in such a shameless affair. Silver Moon City will definitely investigate this matter to the end and give everyone an explanation that proves our innocence. As for young friend's suggestion, the city lord has said that this is no problem. We will immediately discuss handing over things to the Huaian Trading Company. The disciples cheered. Only a very small percentage of people glared at Long Chen darkly, as if wanting to tear him apart. Bei Shishi's mother sighed and shook her head. I really underestimated this fellow's ability to cause trouble. Originally, she had hoped for Long Chen and the others to get some of the rewards and show everyone that the High Firmament Academy wasn't so weak. It was time to reveal some fangs. However, Long Chen had completely flipped the Nine Prefecture Convention. Under that pressure, Silver Moon City was forced to hand the authority over the Nine Prefecture Convention to the Huaian Trading Company. It wasn't just Silver Moon City that was offended now. All the people who had been benefiting from this cheating were now filled with hatred toward him and the High Firmament Academy. Cutting off their profits was like killing their parents. So their hatred was overflowing. Just thinking about the consequences gave her a chill. I must report this to the Dean. Things have gone completely out of control. Bei Shishi's mother felt immense pressure now. The Dao Discussion Convention can continue. Seeing that everyone had calmed down enough, the elder shouted and vanished. The Dao discussion stage quivered, and a screen of light appeared above it. It was crystalline and beautiful, with mountains, plains, rivers, birds, fish, stars, and countless other scenes appearing within it. Translating the tablet was not the true Dao discussion. It was nothing more than a little desert before the meal that Silver Moon City had arranged, giving certain people an advantage. Now was the true Dao discussion, and everything was under the control of the Dao discussion stage. Although this was Long Chen's first time attending, Heaven Master Yun Yang had explained the basic rules to him. This Dao discussion was a kind of challenge. People challenged each other with questions, and if the other side was unable to answer, or their answer did not obtain the Dao discussion stage's approval, their divine pillar would drop. The Dao discussion stage was the examiner. While everyone participating was a student, the examiner was to decide who was right or wrong, and who deserved to be rewarded or punished. The Dao discussion stage was truly a mysterious existence, and no one knew its origins. Silver Moon City's people were nothing more than its protectors. Legend was that it was a spiritual object from ancient times and that it was constantly manifesting all 10,000 Deos. The other legend was that it was a part of the heavenly Deos. In any case, it definitely had the authority to judge everyone's answers. Once it started, Long Chen's divine pillar rapidly lit up. Clicking sounds rang out. When someone was challenged, their pillar would light up. If challenged by two people, it would light up twice. Right now, Long Chen's pillar was rapidly blinking, meaning that many people were challenging him. He was being attacked from all sides. Isn't this unfair? 
So many people are challenging boss Long San at once, demanded some people in the crowd. Although Long Chen had offended everyone with his entrance, the way that Long Chen didn't submit to authority and directly accused the Nine Prefecture Convention of cheating, evening the playing field for everyone, had caused many people to also feel admiration for him. Moreover, with the way that he was being challenged, it was far too obvious that he was being targeted. Long Chen's words had already benefited them, so they didn't want him to be kicked out. Due to Long Chen's previous nonsense, the Dao discussion stage had dropped him nine levels. Hence, one wrong answer and he would be eliminated. Long Chen said things that other people didn't dare to say, and he did things that other people didn't dare to do. The majority of people felt enraged for him. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed disdainfully. A group of donkey and horse balls also dare to challenge Boss Long San? Then Boss Long San will give you a lesson today. Come. Long Chen patted his pillar. The flashing stopped and another pillar behind Long Chen lit up. This indicated that Long Chen had accepted the challenge. As for the challenger, he was the one who reacted the fastest. Or perhaps it should be said that he hadn't reacted at all. He had simply been sitting on the button, ready to challenge Long Chen as soon as it started. Long Chen saw that it was the Nine Flower Sects Ji Li, so he sneered. Does your face not hurt? If you have something to say, hurry up. Ji Li looked at him and also sneered. What is the Dao? The expert's expressions changed. This was truly a sharp question. They were starting off with such difficult questions. They clearly weren't going to give Long Chen any chance to turn things around. Everyone looked at Long Chen. With a disdainful smile, he indifferently answered. All things within heaven and earth are the Tao. After he said that, his pillar slowly rose until it was the same height as before. As for Ji Li's pillar, it sank one foot. This showed that Long Chen's answer had obtained the Tao discussion stage's approval. As a reward, his pillar was restored to its original height. Boss is mighty. Seeing him recover from the border of death, Bei Ziyol cheered. Even Luo Bing and the others were excited. They had been so nervous just now that they almost stopped breathing. In this world, what came first, the chicken or the egg? The second person directly asked an even more difficult question. Chapter 3076 A Master This was a question perplexing the world for countless years. From ancient times to now. No one could answer it because it touched upon the origin of life. Right at the start, all these people were targeting Long Chen not in order to discuss the Tao but to eliminate him first. Their questions came one after another, each sharper than the last. Hence, everyone's gaze concentrated on Long Chen. Luo Ning and the others were nervous for him. In the face of this question, Long Chen indifferently said, First came the egg, just like that. Long Chen's pillar once more rose. His answer had received the approval of the Tao discussion stage. Seeing his casual answer be accepted so easily and him rise so calmly, everyone was shocked. After a moment of shock, Bei Ziyao led the cheering, and Luo Bing and the others followed. Long Chen truly was amazing. He even answered this correctly. How do you know? The third person asked his question. The Tao discussion stage was going in order of who had challenged Long Chen. Every time he answered correctly, he went up one level, while the challenger went down a level. I guessed. Long Chen shrugged. You. That person was dumbfounded. How was that acceptable? Was he part of the Tao discussion stage's family? Were the two of them related? Suddenly, that person's pillar lit up, and he vanished from the stage. Appearing outside, he had been eliminated. The newcomers were dumbfounded, but someone laughed. On the Tao discussion stage, you must answer questions pertaining to the Tao. Otherwise, you'll be eliminated. It was forbidden to ask nonsensical questions. That was to prevent cheating. Otherwise, someone could simply send someone points. Just like that. Even after that person was eliminated, Long Chen's pillar didn't move. His response was accepted but not rewarded or punished. Then the next pillar lit up. An old crone sat on this one, and she looked at Long Chen with killing intent. Her voice was so sharp it raised goosebumps. Sir said that the egg came first. What is the reasoning and principle behind this? It was still the same question, but now it was asked properly. Hence, Long Chen had to answer properly as well. If he once more said that he had just guessed, he would be punished. 
The origin of life came from nothing. The foundation was primal chaos. In the great desolate scripture, it is recorded that yin and yang came first. Then spirituality was born within the heavenly deos. Then laws gradually appeared in this lawless world. Tracing back to the source, I feel that this is correct. Heaven and earth gave rise to spirituality, and spirituality gave birth to all living creatures. Those creatures created laws, and as those laws move along their course, they form this world. As a result, I feel that the egg came first, because compared to a chicken, the egg is the embryo, the foundation, while the chicken is already a complete life form. Without the first, there cannot be the second. All things came from nothingness, so they must have progressed gradually in proper sequence. However, this is ultimately just an opinion. The Tao is formless. Cultivators are nothing more than tiny boats on a raging sea. You can look at a mountain and see just a mountain. Later on, you look at the same mountain and see it is not just a mountain. After that, you might look again and find that the mountain is truly just a mountain. When cultivating the Tao, most of the time you only see the what and not the why. As a result, no one would dare to say that they are absolutely correct, said Long Chen. This response moved everyone. No one had expected Long Chen to be able to say such words at such a young age. Considering how Long Chen had entered so arrogantly, how was it possible for him to answer so humbly and even say that he himself might not be correct in order to not mislead people? This wisdom did not match his age at all. Long Chen's pillar once more rose. He was now above everyone, looking down on his opponents. This time, it wasn't just Bei Ziaol and the others cheering. Quite a few spectators cheered for him as well. His words were eloquent and profound. That kind of deep comprehension of the heavenly deos caused quite a few young disciples to feel some worship for him. After all, they were all youngsters, while Long Chen was competing against these old fellows. Just like that, it was easy for them to start counting Long Chen as amongst their own ranks. He was winning face for them, youngsters. Those cheers lit Long Chen's blood on fire. He actually stood on the pillar and took out a chair, sitting down cross-legged. He then took out some wine and looked down on those elders. I've broken your shady tricks. Now you can't scam us out of money. He, don't like it? Come and challenge me. I really like seeing you look so constipated with anger but being unable to touch me. Master Boss Long San is an erudite full of wisdom of both the past and present. Do you think I'm afraid of you novices? Come. Long Chen's arrogant display didn't draw curses this time, only more cheers. Long Chen played it quite smartly. By aiming his words at those cheaters, he ended up turning himself into the representative of the victims, which was 99% of the people here. Those people naturally supported him. The spectators cheered, not at all afraid of causing a ruckus. In any case, they weren't the ones offending the other side. As long as they cheered together. These people couldn't punish all of them. They could also vent some of their resentment. Behind him, Ji Li's expression was extremely ugly, looking as if Long Chen had killed his dad. Long Chen turned to look at him. It was young Master Chang Chuan who killed your split body. So why do you hate me so much? Do you think that I'm a soft persimmon? If he could kill your split body, then I can kill your real body. The first time Long Chen had seen Ji Li, he had sensed that the latter's spiritual fluctuations were a bit off and thus knew that he was a clone. Because of that, Long Chen wasn't surprised to see him again after hearing that he was killed. Furthermore, he trusted that this was his true body. Long Chen's words startled everyone. It seemed that Ji Li had had his clone killed. However, before Ji Li could answer, another pillar lit up. It was time for that elder to ask his question. The elder snorted coldly. Youngster. Don't be too arrogant. Tell me, what is most important for someone who cultivates the Tao? Everyone quieted down. This was also a very difficult question. To cultivate the Tao meant to cultivate the heart, the body, the soul, fate, luck, law, etc. Not even one could be lacking. But as for what was most important, who could possibly say? Seeing Long Chen fall silent, that elder smiled, very pleased with himself. What? You can't answer? What happened to your arrogance? He was intentionally trying to provoke Long Chen, distracting him with anger. That would lead to him failing to answer properly. 
Long Chen solemnly said. I feel that ultimately, the most important thing for someone who cultivates the Tao is to live. Hearing that, everyone almost coughed up blood. How was such an answer acceptable? But shockingly, Long Chen once more rose. As for the person who asked the question, he was eliminated. What the spectators were all dumbfounded. Was Long Chen really related to the Tao discussion stage? How could this be? Chapter 3077 Carrying on the con what's going on? For a moment, everyone on and off the stage could only stare, feeling dumbfounded. If his pillar rose, it meant that this question had to have something to do with the Tao. So it wasn't against the rules. But then why was that person kicked out? Idiot. Are you intentionally trying to give me points? You should have asked what someone who cultivates the Tao must focus on cultivating. Not that idiotic question you just asked. But thank you for the help. Sneered Long Chen to the elder. Only then did everyone understand. That elder's question was flawed. And Long Chen's answer was a cheap trick but had been judged as correct. Moreover, there was suspicion that the elder was simply giving points away. So he was eliminated. Long Chen had now answered five questions. One was invalid. And four were approved. His pillar was already far above everyone. Quite a few people's expressions changed on the stage. If Long Chen's pillar rose to 30 meters, he would win, and the competition would end. The reward for first place was some very generous natural resources and mineral veins, and whoever won would obtain the mining rights to those places. This authority would only end when the next winner of the Tao Discussion Convention was declared. Long Chen was already so high that it was making others uneasy. This youngster was far more difficult to deal with than most old foxes. In the past, questions were always asked mutually. It looked a bit messy, but in truth, everything was in a certain sequence. They had their own ways of controlling the discussion and choosing someone to be first place. The only hard part was making it appear to others that the champion was declared after a fierce struggle. Just at this moment, the next person's pillar lit up, seeing that it was his turn. He instantly grew cautious. As for Long Chen, he crossed his legs and looked at him with an indifferent smile. He seemed full of confidence yet also completely indifferent to the championship. He seemed incredibly relaxed. After a long thought, the elder asked, Cultivation has no limit. How can one reach the other shore? Without thinking, Long Chen casually said, The soul is the sail. The spirit is the oar. The body is the raft. The Tao is the sea and the law is the wind, to struggle across the raging waves, if you use the law to control the Tao, you will forget the Tao, forgetting yourself, instead, you should use the Tao, but if you achieve the Tao, you will have arrived at a supreme realm, and looking through the cosmos, you will still see no shore, so where does this concept of reaching the other shore come from, Long Chen's divine pillar once more rose as he obtained the Tao discussion stage's approval, this time, Everyone was truly moved, including the other elders on the stage as well as the heavenly geniuses of the nine prefectures. His words truly contained supreme principles, but they were unable to fully comprehend because their own cultivation wasn't enough. Even Beishishi's mother stared at him in shock. For such words to come out of Long Chen's mouth was completely unbelievable. This was clearly something that could only be said by a master of the Tao. As for Long Chen, he didn't appear to be any grand master. He was sitting there arrogantly as if he felt himself to be number one beneath the heavens. No matter how they looked at him, he didn't seem like someone capable of saying such a thing. Furthermore, his response was said casually and without any hesitation. If he hadn't been the one to expose the cheating, people might even suspect that he was the one cheating and that he had simply memorized this response. This time, there was no cheering. Instead, Many people fell into deep thought, and they carefully examined his words. But the harder they pondered over them, the more unfathomable they became. The first part was still understandable, but the last part was truly inexplicable. No wonder he's so arrogant. He has the power to be arrogant. If I also had such ability, I'd also be arrogant. Someone sighed with a complicated expression. A fiery clothed woman looked at Long Chen and muttered, Arrogance requires the means or you'd be beaten to death. I think I'm starting to like him. Didn't you just say that you like that fellow from the life forbidden area? Didn't you say that you just had to marry him? 
said one of her friends beside her. Aya, I just find that this black-robed fellow has more of a man's flavor. Look, his robes make him look like a beggar. My mom taught me that we should help the less fortunate. A person should be kind and compassionate, said that woman a bit shyly. The surrounding people eyed her speechlessly. On the stage, Long Chen felt incredibly refreshed by the elder's shocked expressions. This was truly satisfying. Seeing their anger and unease, he was even more delighted. He said, What? Are you angry? Did you pay quite a bit of money to come here? After using up all those favors and paying so much, you find that there's nothing to read? Well, you can only blame your own bad luck. Wherever Boss Long San goes, the earth roars, the heavens howl, birds fly, and dogs jump. Little sanctimonious rats, I've torn off your masks, letting everyone see your true faces. Boss Long San, it was unknown who started it, but people suddenly started to chant his name. Cheating was the most hateful thing, and Long Chen managed to make these people resonate with him. They knew that the bigger the ruckus they made, the more likely they would be able to expose the one behind the scenes. They all wanted to know just who was controlling the Nine Prefecture Convention. Although there were some senior experts secretly warning their disciples not to stand out, cheering amongst the crowd was no problem. Hence, these elders were infuriated. All the people challenging Long Chen were unable to escape the suspicion of being one of those cheaters. They all wanted to kill him, but they couldn't do anything. HMPH, you made it sound so complicated. I don't know where you read those words before that coincidentally met the Tao discussion stage's approval, but I don't believe you could understand such a thing. My question is, if you see the entire cosmos and don't see the shore, doesn't that mean that you are still in the midst of struggling within the sea? If you haven't reached the other shore, how would you know what realm you have reached? The next challenger asked his question. Long Chen's previous answer was difficult to understand but had still been approved by the Tao discussion stage. But this competitor didn't approve, so he pressed the question. Clearly, even with his thousands of years of cultivation, he was unable to comprehend Long Chen's words, so he refused to believe that Long Chen could comprehend them. With this question, everyone's gaze is once more concentrated on long chen chapter 3078 Tao discussion reward long chen said are you trying to send me points or is your head really so worthless the heavenly deos are endless so where does the other shore come from cultivators cultivate themselves and not the so-called Tao. the heavenly deos already exist in and of themselves why would they need you to cultivate them a frog at the bottom of the well jumps out thinking that they have seen the heavens, when in reality, they are only in a larger well. When you see a mountain, you climb to the peak and only then do you see even higher mountains. The struggle is endless, so there is no other shore. If a cultivator can understand, then with every step, they reach the other shore. If they can't understand, then the sea of bitterness is endless, and they will never extricate themselves from it. To cultivate is to cultivate your mountain climbing techniques, your sea crossing abilities. To cultivate is to control the law, to swim through the Tao, like a coon soaring out of the sea and transforming into a pen spreading its wings. In the sea, you can swim. In the sky, you can control the wind. Even as you are subjected to the Tao, you control the Tao for yourself. The Tao has you, and you have the Tao. If you are the Tao and the Tao is you. How can the other shore exist? Long Chen's pillar rose once more as he obtained the Tao discussion stage's approval. Again, there was no thunderous applause, only profound shock and reflection. Long Chen's words shook everyone. His arguments were very novel. No one had expressed such an opinion before. Hence, his words were opening up new skies for them, letting them see a new world. Most shocking of all, considering his age. How could he have such a deep comprehension of the heavenly deos? As everyone was shocked, the people who had challenged Long Chen began to panic. If Long Chen answered ten times with the Tao discussion stage's approval, he would win. No one else would have any chance. However, all of them had already challenged Long Chen, and it had been recorded by the Tao discussion stage. They had to follow according to the sequence. They wanted to directly eliminate this hateful fellow. But since things had taken a turn, they tensed up. It was the next person's turn to ask a question. 
Perhaps it was because he was too nervous or he felt that Long Chen was too difficult to deal with. The question he posed appeared complicated on the surface but was actually very simple. Long Chen then answered without hesitation, sending himself even higher. For a moment, the crowd's cheers drowned out everything else. Just one more question answered correctly and Long Chen would win the Tao discussion competition. In the past, this competition would last around three days and nights. But this time, Long Chen had risen straight to the top in a flash. Such a scene had never occurred before. Luo Bing and the others practically prostrated themselves toward Long Chen. This fellow that normally wasn't the slightest bit serious actually had such an understanding of the Tao. Even the icy Beishishi was clenching her fists. Everyone from the academy was nervous for Long Chen. Overlooking all his competitors from high above, Long Chen's arrogant expression showed that he truly was a youngster. His opponents were all gloomy. There was only one last question. If he answered correctly, they would be doomed. However, if he answered wrongly, he would instantly drop down amongst their ranks. This was one of the curious rules of the Tao discussion stage. Those near the top would drop far more. If you were one step from winning, then one misstep would cause you to lose everything. This was a mental pressure test. There were always several times where people reached this level and fell back down. That made the competition look incredibly nerve-wracking and marvelous. However, past conventions were also mutual questions posed to each other. There had never been a situation like someone rising to the top just as it started. This was practically cheating. The next divine pillar lit up. The elder on it was sweating as his question was crucial. One mistake, and he would send Long Chen to the top. Hence, his head was a mess. He was doing his best to think of what kind of question could make things difficult for Long Chen. But it also had to do with discussing the Tao. The others were also anxious, but they couldn't do anything. It was forbidden to communicate spiritually, and anyone who was noticed would be eliminated. Hence, such a thing couldn't be controlled by others. Since it was such a critical moment, the Tao discussion stages rules allowed for a person to take some time to consider their question and answer. Time slowly passed. The elder was soaked in sweat. But even after an incense stick's worth of time, the elder still hadn't asked. After waiting all this time, Long Chen yawned and indifferently said, Is there a problem? Asking a question doesn't require much effort, right? Let me put it to you this way, you petty-hearted, sanctimonious fellows that only care about profits can spend an entire day thinking, but your intelligence is still at the bottom level. So whatever question you ask, they are nothing. The result is already set in stone. Struggling is useless the elder suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood and fell from the pillar. Before he reached the ground, he was transported out. An uproar exploded. That elder's forehead was split open and blood was dripping out. He seemed to have instantly aged a great deal. What's going on? His anxiousness caused his soul to go into chaos, and a heart devil instantly erupted. If it weren't for the Tao discussion stage suppressing it, he would already be dead, explained an elder. This shocked everyone. Such a thing could actually occur? Just at this moment, Long Chen's divine pillar rose once more, and he reached the top. After that, some light sent everyone else out, and the Tao discussion stages light gathered on Long Chen. Boss One, Bei Ziaol shouted in delight, and Luo Bing and the others also cheered. Even Bei Shishi's mother was moved. Who would have thought that Long Chen would take the championship spot for the Tao discussion convention? Looking at the elder that was on his last breaths, Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. Why bother? Your wicked thoughts couldn't even be suppressed. You were unable to think of a question that I couldn't answer. But why did you have to nourish those thoughts until they consumed you? While trying to harm others, the only one you really harm is yourself. Just at this moment, all the other divine pillars other than Long Chen's returned to the ground. Following that, light condensed into three balls in front of Long Chen. Is this the legendary divine reward? Seeing those three balls of light. Countless people's eyes reddened. Chapter 3079 World Extermination Lightning Radiance Legend was that when a person obtained the Tao Discussion Stage's recognition, after becoming the winner, the Tao Discussion Stage would give them a reward. Of course, such a thing was nothing more than a legend. 
that was because it had not occurred throughout all of known history. After so long, people had almost forgotten about this legend. Viewing the Tao discussion stage as nothing more than a tool. However, the three balls of light in front of Long Chen were that legendary reward. This ancient divine item was giving him a reward, which had to be a supreme treasure. Long Chen was also surprised. There was such a good thing? Eyeing the three balls of light, he understood that he had to pick one. Without hesitation, Long Chen thrust his hand into the middle ball. He trusted that he would definitely pick the worst one. When his hand entered, he didn't find anything. But suddenly, a prick of pain struck his palm, and he instinctively retracted his hand. As the three balls of lightning vanished, Long Chen noticed a lightning rune on his palm. The rune flashed a few times and then vanished. After that, a name appeared in Long Chen's mind. World Extermination Lightning Radiance. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. The Tao discussion stage hadn't given him a physical treasure but an ancient lightning art. This was a lightning art that he had never come into contact with before. To be called World Extermination. Was it like his World Extermination Flame Lotus? Seeing his delighted expressions, countless people were jealous, especially the other elders that had been part of the Tao discussion. They wanted to tear him apart. The Tao discussion competition had ended, but the divine light of the stage didn't fade. It continued to flow around Long Chen, making him appear like a celestial god. Boss San, I wish to ask, as a cultivator, how can you make sure that you don't lose right at the starting line? Asked an expert below the stage with a bow. The competition had ended but the convention hadn't. This was now the time for the champion to expound on the Tao to everyone. Anyone could answer questions at this time. But of course, there was no reward or punishment to speak of. Long Chen put away his chair and sat lotus style. His expression gradually grew solemn. He said, in this world. There is no such starting line. That's just what a group with ulterior motives uses to con others. In life, it doesn't matter who runs the fastest or who looks the best running. What matters is who can run the furthest. Some people walk with their own two legs. Some people use horses. Some people use flying boats. Because their direction, speed, and viewpoint are all different. Every person sees different scenery. I have said that there is no such thing as the other shore. So even if walking is slow, you will still see sceneries that have slipped past other people. You will have more time to calm your heart and comprehend the Tao. As your mental realm rises, the immortal path's mist grows clearer. You will gain a pair of wise eyes that can see further. On the other hand, a flying boat might be fast, but many people are blind to their speed. It is unknown just how many people end up crashing into cliffs and killing themselves like this. What nonsense. People start running as soon as they are born. If you run too slow, you will be trampled by others. The cultivation world is one where the weak are devoured by the strong. If you are weak, I can kill you and take your riches. Who has time to look at sceneries? How laughable, sneered one of the elders that had been eliminated. His words made the other experts nod. This was truly the case. If they didn't run with all they had, they wouldn't be able to even protect their own lives let alone comprehend anything. You are the one spouting nonsense. Your realm might be higher than mine, but do you believe me when I say that I can cut off your head in just three exchanges sneered Long Chen. As soon as he said this, an uproar exploded. As expected of Boss Long San, his tone was truly arrogant. This elder was a divine lord expert. You, your heart is far too narrow and wild to be an instructor, raged the elder. Long Chen sneered. Your cultivation base is completely empty, and you lack any real power. A powerless chicken also dares to say big words? Then why don't you tell me what the starting line is? Who drew the starting line? Is everyone on the same line? Who referees? How can it be fair? Are you going to bring a monkey, elephant, tiger, fish, and tortoise together? Draw a line in front of a tree, and say to be fair. Whoever climbs up this tree first is the champion what absolute nonsense. Everyone has their own specialties. Isn't that why there are countless styles of cultivation? How can there be the same starting line for everyone? In the same vein, some seeds bloom first, and some bear fruit first. Some also never bloom or bear fruit. Are those plants all trash? Have they all lost right at the starting line? 
If it doesn't bear fruit or flower, who can say whether or not it will one day become a towering tree? It might fall behind others in a short time, but that doesn't mean that it won't overtake them later. Who dares to guarantee that someone whose cultivation base lags behind or whose talent is inferior to others won't one day obtain soaring success thanks to building a solid foundation? It seems that there are quite a few cases of such a thing throughout history, right? For example, the Nine Revolution Heavenly King Han Yingli, the Hell Ghost Slayer Liu King Kong, the Hundred Flower Valleys Patriarch, Wan Liai, Long Chen listed off over 30 names before continuing. Those people all started off mediocre and were looked down upon by others. However, they later became towering figures that shook their times, and their names continue to be passed down through history. Let me say it again, running fast isn't the goal, it's running further. You don't even understand this, yet you have the face to be an instructor? You are completely misleading all your disciples. Long Chen directly retorted to that elder's mocking, not being the slightest bit cautious. Absolute nonsense. Cultivators must maintain their sharpness and fearless determination to advance through thorns. The path of cultivation is like pushing a boat upstream. If you aren't advancing, you are regressing. You are simply giving yourself an excuse to be lazy. You will cripple countless people's cultivation with your words. You are not fit to be an instructor. A new person spoke up. It was the nine flower sects Ji Li. How laughable. Sharpness and determination to pierce through thorns? You have the face to discuss sharpness and determination with me? You created a clone to wander throughout the world precisely because you are a coward afraid of death. All the instructors on the Tao discussion stage other than me have done the same thing, scoffed Long Chen. How can a novice in the divine flame realm even speak of clones? Sneered Ji Li. Only divine lord experts were capable of condensing a clone. In the immortal world, the majority of divine lord experts chose to create such a clone because that was equivalent to another life. Long Chen sneered, idiot, do you not know that creating a clone will be a barrier blocking you from ascending into an immortal king? Chapter 3080 Preparing for the Martial Dao Convention What Long Chen's words startled everyone present. What absolute nonsense. Even if you have a clone, you can ascend to the immortal king realm. There are countless examples throughout history. How is it a barrier? You are making up things to scare people, sneered Ji Li. Long Chen disdainfully said, There are two kinds of divine clones. One shares your life, while the other is a primary and secondary. The benefit of one that shares your life is that your senses are shared. You are essentially viewing the world from two viewpoints, making it easier to comprehend the Tao. The drawback is that if the clone dies, the true body also dies. Only an expert with utmost confidence would dare to make such a clone. As for you, you have a secondary clone where the true body controls everything, and the clone is nothing more than a reflection. The good news is, if it dies, it has almost no effect on the true body. The bad news is that because one is a slave, the clone sees things just as the master sees things. Furthermore, its power, reactions, and everything are all inferior to the true body let alone comprehending anything, when becoming an immortal, rather than helping your cultivation, the merger will cause your true body's comprehension power to drop, creating a roadblock in your way, how laughable, who said that they had to be merged to become an immortal king, sneered Ji Li, of course, you cannot merge and kill your clone, such a thing is called Tao Severing, severing another version of yourself, you sever the past to welcome the future, Sever the dark to welcome the light, but without the past, how can you have a future? Without the darkness, how can there be light? That Tao Severing is an enormous wrong fork that brings people astray in the cultivation world, said Long Chen, his words powerful and resonating. Both the seniors and the juniors were stunned by his words. He was actually tossing away countless years of cultivation practices. People were a bit uneasy with such a thing. Nonsense. The more you talk, the more heretical and unreasonable you get. Are you saying all of us have cultivated wrongly? Raged someone. It is not wrong per se. I suppose you've just put a shackle on. Many people might have an 80% chance of becoming an immortal king. But this shackle makes it only 10%. Said Long Chen lightly. What proof do you have? Demanded that person. Proof? I can't say. 
Long Chen shook his head. In this world, some things are taboo and can only be thought of, not transmitted. However, don't be disappointed, because when Boss Long San ascends to the Divine Lord Realm, I will open a new cultivation path. You can treat my words as a joke and laugh at me. That's fine. Time will prove everything, as expected. Quite a few people laughed derisively at him, thinking that he was simply saying this because he wasn't able to answer. But some people were silent. Long Chen's confidence shook them. It was as if Long Chen really did know some things. Boss Long San, grassroot cultivators like myself can't compete with those rich second generations. What should we do? The next question was asked. Then work hard to become a first generation. Don't envy others who can gain things without doing anything. Someone who was born with everything. They don't have to pay anything because everything they have came from their first generation that paid for everything. You shouldn't feel envy, jealousy, or resentment. Instead, you should consider how to make others envy your descendants as well, said Long Chen. Boss Long San, how do I become someone that everyone respects? No matter what you do, you can't win everyone's respect. Be yourself. As for other people's praise or scorn, don't pay too much attention to it. Boss Long San, how can you maintain a heart untouched by dust on the path of cultivation? Boss Long San, will having a few more female companions affect one's cultivation speed? Boss Long San, how many dual cultivation partners do you have? Boss Long San, countless disciples flooded over Long Chen who didn't reject even a single one. However, sometimes his answers were serious, while some were jokes that made people laugh. Of course. There were some improper questions that didn't obtain proper answers. At this time, quite a few people left, not approving of him and not wanting to listen to him expound on the Tao. Mostly, it was juniors who stayed here, and many of the young women stayed as well. Those women all liked to ask a few personal questions. Some of them were truly brazen, catching even Long Chen off guard. Luo Bing and the others laughed amongst themselves. Boss Long San's name has truly spread this time. The High Firmament Academy's next disciple recruitment is probably going to be packed. Time passed bit by bit. After a while, the Tao discussion stage's divine light finally faded, and Long Chen was sent out. He then left with his people. As the crowd of disciples chased, Long Chen had already vanished. After returning to their residence, Long Chen sighed with relief. Beishishi's mother carried out a simple celebration for him, and she even brought back the dean's praise. This time, Long Chen had truly won face for the High Firmament Academy. The Academy had already sent people to discuss taking over the mining rights. That was a huge sum. Long Chen had contributed greatly to the Academy with this. After the celebration, Beishishi's mother turned solemn. This time, Long Chen may have won in the Tao discussion convention but he has also offended many sects and powers. During the Martial Dao Convention, many experts will be aiming to kill you. Be careful. Long Chen had cut off the ill-gotten prophets of who knew how many people. Hence, those people would definitely cast their anger on the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen and the others would face a fierce, bloody battle during the Martial Dao Convention. Long Chen nodded. If you encounter someone you can't beat, directly admit defeat. This isn't shameful. After all, your life is more important. Also, don't feel any pressure. You only came here for fun and to accumulate some experience. As for the championship, I don't want to make you feel bad, but it has little to do with you. So don't feel any pressure. Just leave the championship to the four of us. The four of us that he was referring to were Bei Shishi, Young Master Changchun, Bei Ziaol, and himself. Bei Ziaol was very moved when he heard Long Chen include him in the fight for the championship. After their celebration was over, Long Chen went to his room and began studying the world extermination lightning radiance that the Tao discussion stage had given him. He was shocked to find that this was a technique used to draw lightning, a bit similar to how the Nirvana scripture drew flame energy. It could draw out the lightning energy of heaven and earth, compressing it into a world extermination lightning ball. Long Chen was in the midst of studying it when someone knocked on his door, startling him. Just who would disturb him at such a time? As he opened the door, a sharp claw reached toward Long Chen's chest as quick as lightning. 
that sharpness seemed intent on piercing straight through his body, 